Hello everyone and welcome <laughs> Please play through me off and welcome to the episode of Critical Role where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, before we get into our session tonight, we do have some announcements to get through, beginning with our first sponsor uh, tonight, which is Thorm Rings. And I believe Sam has prepared a special Sam talk about it. So Sam, uh, thank you, thank you everyone, thank you Matthew for inviting oh, me God. to your God. speaker series. Okay. The two most important words in the English language are what and if. No. Thorum rings exist because of these words. For years, civilization has been making rings in various shapes: square rings, triangle rings, rhombuses. But then, in 2012, Thorum founders Caleb and Stephanie Martin asked a question that began with what if? What if we made round rings? <laughs> Circles around your finger. It's hard to believe, but prior to 2012, circular rings didn't exist. Oh, it just wow. wasn't a thing. Sure, it, in retrospect, it seems natural, but the, it took two people asking what if to make it a reality, and they didn't stop there. How you doing? Do good. <laughs> good. In the old days, rings were made out of sand or paper, <laughs> or if you were rich, lettuce. Mm. <laughs> but then Caleb and Stephanie pulled out those two words. What if instead of making rings out of sand, which would turn into mud if they got wet, what if we made them out of stronger materials? <laughs> like, <laughs> like Damascus steel, ironwood, dinosaur bone, World War II rifle stock. It feels breath on my ears. <laughs> People said it couldn't be done. How could you shape those things? No one can bend titanium carbide with their bare hands. Nope. He's still talking. Ca Caleb and Stephanie, this is my Sam talk. Caleb and Stephanie said, what if we use tools? Blow torches, <laughs> wrenches, other tools that I didn't learn the names of. <laughs> As a result, we have these. Hold up your rings, everyone. <laughs> Thorum handcrafts unique wedding bands out of everything from meteorite to whiskey barrel. They ship every single ring within one business day, have 5,000 five-star reviews, and come with a lifetime warranty. Two good. simple words. What if can launch a spaceship, or feed the hungry, oh. or even change the world? In closing, Synergy, bioethical coffee, water desalination, China, innovation, buzzwords. Whether you need, whether you need a wedding anniversary, uh, a wedding anniversary, or just an awesome ring, head to Thorum.com and use code Critical Role to get twenty percent off. Thank you for coming to my Sam talk. Oh yeah, I need a wedding anniversary. Thank you, Sam. You're, <laughs> you're right. My triangular sand wedding band is very uncomfortable. Yeah. It has been for years. Would go from sand to mud. <laughs> is it just gonna say Sam the whole rest of the I game? Hope so. <laughs> I, Do I get to keep that? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Oh, oh, that's the take new head for your kid. Sam. <laughs> that's gonna take some hits. Uh, I, I hate this. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Sam. Thank you, Thorne. Uh, our second sponsor for tonight is Nintendo's The Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. In this sequel to The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, you'll decide your own path through the sprawling landscapes of Hyrule and the mysterious islands floating above and the vast skies that loom above you. That's where they go in the sky. Uh, you can harness the power <laughs> of Link's new abilities to fight back against the malevolent forces that threaten the kingdom. The adventure is yours to create in a world fueled by your imagination. But you don't have to take my word for it. See what critics have been saying about this must-play game in this trailer that will come up during our break okay. later on. Wait. But I can say, from personal experience, uh, it's a heck of a lot of fun, especially when you unlock all the abilities, like uh, Recall, uh, in which you can uh, you know, stop time and uh, reverse things, uh, and which is fun, especially when you're fighting like a uh, Bokoblin boss and you freeze its rock mid-air, and then you actually use a scent to leap up through the rock, stand on it, then fire a bomb flower fused arrow towards it, uh, and then send it right back at it. Wow. And Whoa. it's... Um, wow. Wow. Not to mention, not to mention the Ultra Hand, uh, which allows you to get really weird. I'm sure you've seen plenty of the constructions online, but uh, it's a fun game of adventure and about? also <laughs> breaking a bunch of things in wonderful, weird ways yeah. in a fantasy setting. So, Yuck. sincerely, it's so much fun. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, please check it out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for sponsoring us, Nintendo. Woo! Uh, Woo! Damn. <laughs> 
You got some announcements, Laura. I do. <laughs> Smooth <laughs> transition as She's been ever. Sitting in my lap this whole time. Check it out. Wait, I'm gonna show this side because oh, it's oh, it's a oh, regular day. Oh, it's just a regular CR. Boring. Whoa. Okay, that's actually really cool. Hold up that arm so the art is seeable. Isn't oh, that beautiful? Yeah, that's that's our nice. Bell's House oh, hoodie out oh, now in all of our CR shops. Most of our CR shops. I love it. The U.S., the U.K., the EU, Canada, and the artist. This. Fabulous art is done by Nina Matsumoto. Thank you so much. That's Yay. A, that's I love it. Woo! Needs it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. All right, Marisha, you got an announcement too. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I was content. A uh, friendly reminder that with the <laughs> July 4th holiday here in the States, Episode 14 of Force Light and Die will air next Tuesday, July 11th at 7 p.m. Pacific over on Twitch and YouTube, cause America. <laughs> America! <laughs> Buzzwords. Sad. There you go. Buzzwords. Perfect. Uh, I believe yeah. that concludes our oh, Sam announcements okay. for the <laughs> evening. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of oh, God. Sam oh, God. It is Sam. <laughs> Until we reach the top, two by two we fall. Will we meet our end or meet our destiny? Hold your breath and roll. How do you want to do this? It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our life. There is magic and mystery. Who knows what will happen? He might. For sure, we never give up on the fight. From the healer to the renegade, we all share the same goal. Adding more allies, taking more chances. Hold your breath and roll. You can certainly try. It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our fight. Our friendship will rise But one thing's for sure We never give up on the fight Oh, get ready It's Thursday night And welcome back so, Team Wildmount, after being one half of Bell's Hell's cast and scattered troop over to the continent of Wildmount, re-engaging uh, with a member of uh, Chetney's past, Deanna and her companion, Frida, uh, discovering about some of the strange changes in the world and the surrounding ways that magic seems to function, both new and old, because of the Apogee Solstice and the recent events, you managed to go past and succeed across some challenges. You traveled from the city of Uthodurn to the ruined and cursed township of Malayus Mir in the center of the Savalier Wood, absconded with information from the past of Ludinus Deleth himself and survived. And uh, some of you got freaky. Uh, <laughs> Could have been more, cowards. <laughs> <laughs> But after some rest and a newly acquired staff, uh, you chose to teleport yourselves back to Drusar and with your two new companions in tow. Upon rolling your uh, D100 for the teleportation, mm. you rolled extremely low. I did. And you that's did. good. I, yes. That's, that's good. The lower yeah. you roll, the better it is. It's like not, divine intervention. Not so good. I heard about Interesting. it. Interesting. Interesting. Not so good. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I do remember that that was the emotional place that we were at the end, and I'm immediately back in that. Ah. <laughs> As the spell flickers and you all feel your physical selves suddenly begin to vibrate with arcane energy and then are pulled out of this realm into a, a, a strange interdimensional uh, kind of in-between space, ah. uh, a, a liminal era, 
and are immediately <laughs> struck with a series of waves of damaging psychic force energies <laughs> blasting through you. All of you take Ow. No. Uh, <laughs> 18 points oh, oh, shit. of force damage oh, come back to the table. from the mishap that was rolled on the teleportation, and I need you, uh, Imogen, to go ahead and roll a d100 once more. Uh, Can I roll for what, to check? see if it works again? If it, if, so, okay. Are we still caught in the, the maelstrom? You are still caught in the maelstrom of mid mishap teleportation. Oh, you now, you roll what again. If I roll low again. No, you're gonna roll so good. You can keep rolling low and well, keep taking so damage. We're gonna be so good. No! No, you no. did not. No, no, you did not. No, <laughs> no you did not. Really? I two zeros what the fuck? On the <laughs> Wow. Stop! I rolled, a, I rolled the exact same you thing. A four Two as well. zeros and a four. Oh my god! What? I just rolled it just to roll like with you. That's spooky as fuck. Oh, I don't like it. It's too well, scary. Torn through the smell so continuously. <laughs> the shifting of magic here in Exandria oh, has created tr transportation oh, uh, to, to, to create a tumultuous <laughs> space in which you attempt to push long distances with an instant Ow! as you all take another 15 points of force damage. Oh, what if we, I'm going to die. What are you at? <laughs> Just wait. If we do it one more time, I'll probably be dead hey, by the time we land. Now, before yes. she goes again, can I roll perception check to see if I can tell that Imogen is fucking us right now? <laughs> Sure. Yay. Why does it hurt right now? <laughs> what is this? If Imogen oh, dies uh, while we do this, 19. do we ever land? Nineteen. Uh, <laughs> in the midst of the the screaming, echoing chamber that is the. I'm. I'm. Fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Hit the sirens, baby. <laughs> Full kill, Bill. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm changing the lights for this because you guys are now oh Scott God. is stuck between this space. No, 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 no. This is full on like Doctor Strange being knocked through all the dimensions. You all are being pulled in so many different arcane, tumultuous maelstroms at once. Growing fingers and, on fingers on yep. fingers. <laughs> Each blast uh, as you are all being pulled apart and then pulled back together again with no direct connection to the Exandria destination that you had intended to. You do, you do sense that the uh, the Arcana is shifting away from the grasp of Imogen. Go ahead and roll. Imogen, stop fucking can it up! I, can I attempt to guide it? Uh, you can. I don't know what that does. Uh, Nothing, but you can attempt it. <laughs> hey, I just lean in and pat you on the shoulder and go, lock it down, it's not her shoulder! Her shoulder opens a mouth and All right, all right, okay, this is better. Yes. Um, sort of. I'm just pipping out pellets. It's, uh... Oh, you rolled different dice this time. I did. Okay, I looked down and saw another zero, zero, and four. I was like, no. 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 <laughs> Wait, so I think that means I rolled a 13. That's barely hey, over. That's... Hey, bud. But... No way, really? You gotta roll higher. Right? That's a t I rolled a 10 a and really? a 30. Oh, yeah. That's a roll 13. Yeah. Sweet girl. <laughs> roll different. I, di I did. <laughs> I, I what did. What does it have to be over? Probably better, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I don't have the chart in front of me, but I think it's gotta be better than that. So. What if we all just died right now? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm really funny to put my zero in con. I'm gonna die. Okay. What did I do, Matt? Matthew. Get warm, y'all. Get loose. What are we just gonna <laughs> land in the ocean? We have to eat each other here. So. <laughs> Daughter, party of six. <laughs> Eventually, that that staticky, continuous cavalcade of of damaging magical energy <laughs> begins to subside, and you feel yourselves finally pull through as you all <laughs> land in a space. The staticky vibrations across your body begin to dissipate. Ow. Is everyone all right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. No. no that was terrible. I'm dead. I'm dead. I was five, and then I was a hundred. Oh, that was scary. so high. Wait, no did that hurt for everyone? Oh. What? Huh? No puedo hablar oh. 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 inglés. I don't know, I don't know. I get a, a little safety pin and hard reset. <laughs> <laughs> um. oh, I'm okay now. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh. Oh. They do that every now and then. It's okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that was wild. Oh. Wow. Oh. That was <laughs> Where are we? So wild. Is everyone really... Okay. All that right. hurt. What happened? It hurt. Oh no, my clothes so. fell off. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> I saw him taking his pants off. I saw it. Yeah, uh, we saw Nothing. that. 
Uh, I'm gonna get off a mask cure wounds on the group. Oh, just uh, wait, where where are we? Yeah, and I actually, don't... Oh, no. as your kind of vision comes in, happen to figure out lighting cues on this. The wind catches you as you find yourselves standing amongst a uh, an elevated mountain township. You know, the, in focusing on Drusar and the spires in which civilization is built around the rock, you see yourself standing in a similar space. Um, but instead, you stand at the precipice of a rock cliff <gasps> that just drops down off the side of a massive mountain into hundreds and hundreds of feet below some sort of forest and a massive mountain range that just curls out in all directions around you. You kind of pull back and hold yourself there and look up and you can see there are these homesteads that are built into the sides of the rock around you and there are what looks to be like gathered bits of thatch and stick and uh, carvings. This is definitely a society built into a rock similar to your intent of oh, Drus no. R, but not quite where you intended to be. Where are where where does I this? I haven't seen this part of Drusar. Wait, does we it look miss? familiar at all? Like, do we have an idea of if of, <clears throat> if we even landed on Marquette? <laughs> Based on the fact that it's the same time of day as where you left, which was early-ish morning in Wildmount, it's similar time of day. So you gather. Nope. Probably not Marquette. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Why? Did we do it? Are we in Marquette? I've always wanted to visit. Oh, That's right. I, think this is I was right. practicing. The dwellings, are they the dice normal given humanoid the dice size? Dice away. Are they larger? Well, uh, as you glance up, you see there are like birds kind of flying in the sky above, like, like Kathy, yes. You, uh, it's better, it's better. And as you watch the cluster, this, this, this kind of uh, mass kind of collection of about 12 or so birds turns around and begins to come directly in your direction. What? <laughs> no! No! Yeah. Go. yeah. Is this normal? Should you do a cure wounds before we all yeah, die? Yeah, let me get off first. a quick little mask cure wounds. Okay, hold me. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. I'm going to put oh, you in, in my swaths of fabric Everyone in my skirt. Everyone takes 31 points. Oh, oh wow. Are Everyone. they coming for me? Never leave. Probably. As they get closer and closer still, you can see there's all these like kind of uh, cavern entrances and these it, it's like an extended platform and you can see there are multiple layers of it throughout that kind of climb and are built into the side of this this mountain spire um, but these birds that come towards you you can see where the wings below there are humanoid bodies what beaks almost like falcon like feathers of brown and red and they are armored and they're holding spears and they're intently coasting towards you all oh uh, can I put my hands up and and say into the bird that's closest to mind we're, this is an accident. We're, we're here in peace. This is shit. <laughs> the bird that's closest, as it's like diving in with its spear forward, goes and kind of looks confusedly around as it kind of pulls away from the dive, its wings still flapping while the others continue to dive downward towards it, uh, towards the rest of you. In this moment, what are the rest of you doing? I'm just waving. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, we'll try. I'll try it. Oh, we we really, we're really going to surrender and try to talk. No, I mean, they could be nice. We come in peace. It's... I'm going to load my weapon and stand in front of FCG while they do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just yell, "Chill out!" <laughs> <laughs> you hear them begin to communicate a bit as they're like darting forward. <laughs> I'm like going to squawks I'm gonna and screeches. Just bind, bind to some of these folks <clears throat> sympathetically. Which one? <laughs> Uh, he doesn't get it. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do everyone but Chetney this time. I understand, <laughs> motherfucker. Six of them immediately dive down and kind of in a swooping formation, dive below the the edge of the shelf that you're all standing on, and then woof, kind of immediately coast up at an incredible speed. And as they do, they throw things at you. I need you all to make dexterity saving throws, please. Damn. Oh, goodness gracious. First roll. Don't forget. Roll. Okay, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. <laughs> 16. Fucking oh, no. 16? Uh, 12. 12, okay. 16? Okay. 10. This isn't match. They bounce the things around too much. Natural one for we gotta five. roll on a thing. For a five? Yeah, a natural one. And what'd you get? <laughs> five. <laughs> Heavy nets. Well. <laughs> nets? <laughs> Immediately surrounds Deanna, Fern, Frida, and Imogen. As you are all suddenly like thrown to the ground, their, their weighted exterior kind of pulls you to the floor, and you are restrained beneath them. Uh, while FCG and Chetney, the only two that dodge out of the way, 
the birds that flew back up, the rest of them that kind of land, wings strung out, their armor itself shining in the bit of the light that's coming through the uh, mid-morning sun. Uh, they have spears up, one of them has a heavy shield in front, and they've kind of begun to encircle you while the five or the six that flew up all begin to land as well and kind of encircle both sides of this platform where you have no choice really other than off the edge or surrender. Fair enough. Uh, at a quick glance, the net is a, like a hempen rope, or is it made of wire or something like that? It's a heavy, heavy rope. I'll take out uh, the uh, the scythe, and I'm just gonna do one swipe across the net and then drop the weapon and put my hands back up trying to open up. Was it one big net that hit four it's of multiple them? multiple nets. Like each one of them had an individual net that they threw as they swooped uh, upwards. Two so. per net, maybe, people? Or is it one for one each per person? Net. One for each person. So there were six of them that kind of swooped who in. Got, who got netted? Bing, bing, bing. Everyone but you and me. Yeah. I'll open up uh, Imogen's crazy ass, and um, and then I'll I'll drop it and go. Look, look, look we just we, we we don't mean to be here. We're we're happy to leave. All right, you swing with the scythe and cut open her net. As you turn around, make a uh, make an make an athletics check. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, the closest humanoid bird entity tries to shield bash you against the wall, and you just kind of like push glide off the side while it puts a spear up kind of near your chin. <laughs> when it's standing there, you can see it's like deep brown and red plumage, like this thick, almost uh, like a, a, a decorated section of like beads and gold uh, rings are tied and tethered into parts of what looks like a, like a collar beneath some of the feathers just kind of dangles and appears outwardly. This one seems to have a bit of a station or uh, captain-like energy to it as it stands there, the spear to your neck. I'm just freaking out with all these birds. I'm just sort of <laughs> jittering and uh, backing away slowly. As the, the clinging of your shaking metal <laughs> <laughs> makes a, a loud noise, the one that's holding the spear, its, it's head kind of like, Turns to the side, it's big yellow eye kind of peering right at you with its hooked uh, beak there, kind of staring. Are you friends with with him? Are you friends with him? Do you know shithead? Is it did he send did he send you? The closest five kind of look at each other. And the the one with the station that stands there right in front of, of Chetney begins to speak in a broken language. For what brings you to our city? Why and how are you here? That was my bad. That was, um, that was her bad. For sure. I, 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 magic's weird right now, and um, I was trying to teleport us, and I didn't do a very good job. How can I glance at each other? You can now see, after this ruckus, of the number of other openings, many, many other bird people, other. Uh, <laughs> winged figures are beginning to like peek out, and you can see like small children ones that are like getting curious, and like muscly ones are pulling them back in. You can see other armed ones are starting to kind of encircle and kind of just keep watch in the nearby air. There's maybe close to 35 or so in the air around you right now. They're just kind of all very curious and at an alarmed state. The uh, the one that lands next to you now, you can see. Uh, has more of a, a feminine energy to them. Uh, the eye itself, as opposed to like that, that bright yellow coloration, that kind of gold tinge, is more of like a, like a dull gray. Uh, and you can see there's a section underneath the beak where like the feathers aren't growing, and there's like a heavy scar that's kind of long healed there. Um, as she lands and kind of looks towards you real close, like getting right up to your mm -hmm. face and kind of reading your eye. Make a persuasion check. Guidance? Oh, you can't roll all bad. I can stop that. it. Why I can say because guidance is a spell casting maneuver. I, sure, I is, can give I can is. give her a bonded blessing, so that's that an mean? extra d6 on on this roll. You can do that as part of your ability without having to make noise. A guidance guidance is always casting a spell like physic like verbally. I was just seeing if maybe I could get away with it. I understand. <laughs> I respect that. I respect I'll that. Respect the hustle. <laughs> that would be an eight. <laughs> my Yo. God! Uh, can you just toss that? that I told you know every, it's not my set. It's a, y here's the thing. Who am I mad at? Here, we're mad. I we're mad would just, I just, you know, I just need my box. Just need my box. You need to get your life right. <laughs> Eight, can I roll okay. again, just because I've got my stuff in front of me now? No, you cannot. 
Thank you. Hustle. Thank you. I do. I do. No, you don't. It grabs the net to your side mm-hmm. uh-huh. and begins to drag you alongside the uh, the platform that you all are standing on, and kind of over to the right hand edge to where it looks like a large archway that leads deeper into the mountain. Wait. As other ones begin Wait. to land in front too. Wait. Can I talk to them? Yes. I don't like this. Yes. You. We. This is. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> One of them has grabbed your net and is starting to drag oh, you. Did I, this is, this is completely a mistake. Can you speak Who to can that? I speak to? Whoever is in charge. I think it's you with the stuff under your neck. <laughs> Roll for manager. You make a persuasion check. Okay. I can also give her a bonded blessing, <laughs> but it will be very bad if I do. So I'm gonna That's do okay. it. <laughs> okay. A plus six um, to you. Okay. Is it bad for you? Yeah, real bad. Why? Why? Don't! Oh, don't, 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 do, don't it, do it then! Do it. I gotta do it. No, no you don't! Take, 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 take a d6 to whatever you rolled. Okay. <laughs> I was not ready for today. I no! Uh, um, <laughs> Matt, I don't want to die like this. 24. <gasps> 24 is good. So, the, uh, the one that looks like it's the most adorned uh, glances over at you, looks back at the one that's holding your net, and they stop moving all of you, and kind of just leave you where you are. And that one kind of intense general looking one. How did you know where this is? We don't, I don't even know where we are right now. We were trying to get to Drusar. Yeah. We do not know of this Drusar, but you cannot stay here. We don't want to. We don't even want to stay. We just want to get out of here as fast as we can. Yeah, air is very thin. If we could get much, much lower in a controlled descent manner. Yeah, another one goes, oh, that can be definitely a softball. softball. <laughs> you see that the, the general like puts his hand up once more. We can agree if what you say is true. We will darken your eyes and leave you a ways from here, so you know not where you came from or how to return. Perfect. Um, hold on, Perfect. hold on. Permanently or just like a little bit for right now? For right now, Okay. temporarily. Okay, cool. But okay. How long does that last? Yeah, how long, yeah, how long? Like... Just like an estimate. Looks over to, to the one that's, that's nearest to uh, Imogen, goes and takes part of like the, uh, Kind of like the, the breastplate armor has these like strips of leather that are kind of hanging from the edges. They kind of mat- mingle with the feathers when they fly, they kind of flap alongside it like a bit of decor, tears one off and ties it around your head, kind of in a, an aggressive but necessary way and essentially blindfolds like you. Oh, sorry. Can I roll to see if I, I want to remember any uh, natural sort of monuments or, or like, I want to know where this place is. Even the, like, I want to know where we are right now in my mind. Make a perception check. Don't do is it. Is he gonna be alright? I have to. No, you don't. I'm, Am I close to FCG? I'm Can I kick him through out the net? Here. It feels better. Too. It does. Yeah, it bounces uh, too much. It's a twenty-nine. Oh. It's a twenty-nine. Yeah. They're very good at this. Trust people <coughs> to do their best I in can't. the moment. Okay. Freaking so out. <laughs> you from standing up here or at this section looking around Manila, you can see the mountain range just, uh, just continue off for an, an incredible distance. Uh, you begin to see in the distance of one direction, very, very far on the horizon, uh, a large body of water like an ocean. Uh, you kind of follow the mountain range here. You look at where the sun is. Uh, you get a sense, make a, make a survival or a nature check for me as well, as part of <gasps> contributing to where you can figure out where you might be. That is a 10. 10. Hard to pick out the specifics of it, but you do glance over to the left to kind of look off to the side, and you can see snow covered mountain ranges far away that almost looks like the Flotcat Alps, but it's like way on the horizon, which means that you're somewhere on Wildmount still. But you are deep in a mountain range, probably, probably to the far southwest of where you left. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. Okay. So I panicking when I see that, uh, and then feeling more than seeing FCG's panic, uh, I will realize that there's something happening in my where my brain would be, and think to myself, 
caregiver, can you hear me right now? And you can. What? <gasps> <gasps> can you hear me? He said, yeah, can you hear me? I'm not talking, I'm just thinking. I can't. I don't know how this happened. I think a little bit of Imogen's Woohoo! Rubbed off on me, but um, <laughs> well, wow. it's, it's, it's that very sheer, it's a a very sheer, uh, <laughs> very sheer skirt she wears. It's, it's, <laughs> I can't help it; I'm cold. Uh, Imogen, <laughs> what? How, how many more charges do you have on that staff? I don't remember. Not enough to do a teleport. Oof. Okay. Um, it takes seven, and there uh, it it takes six, and there's only eight <clears throat> charges on it. So, so it has to that. recharge. I think every day. Correct. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You can, if you look over at me, you'll start to see my eyes are starting to change to a reddish color. <laughs> Caregiver, you're all right. You're okay. okay. We're going to get out of this. And Very well. Peace. You have agreed to this for your safety. Oh, yeah. It's going to be okay. To no violence. Nope. Yeah. No, none. You none will be blindfolded and left on the outskirts to pursue what you wish and forget. You ever came here? Right. Great. I just Why have you... just a small yeah. idea, and you can absolutely say no. But I was just wondering if possibly. See, the thing is, we're not where we were supposed to be. No. No, no, you no, are no. Not. I know. Just big, big, major bad from her. But <laughs> I'm I can't thinking... see anything. Are you pointing at me? <laughs> no. Um, I'm the only blindfolded. Oh. <laughs> they begun blindfolding the rest of you oh. Oh. while you're talking. So, like Chetney. Okay, you all, you Rita. all, you all can fly, and maybe, maybe, maybe we can come to an agreement that we will never ever talk about this place if you take us, you know, fly us to where we need to go. <laughs> just like just a little little bit of a trip, and then never, never talk about it again. Make a persuasion check. With disadvantage. <laughs> I can't cast it, but I just girl? think guiding thoughts. <laughs> I'm thinking positive thoughts yeah. to have such a <laughs> It's going to be okay. Cocked. Hold on. It's going to be all right. Okay. Um, that's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, persuasion. Wait, am I adding anything? No. 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 Okay. Can I guide myself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that. 15. 15. Not terrible. That's not as bad it's as not some. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not Matthew. <laughs> if you ever, s birds don't have ex extremely uh, big expressing expressions, but but you can see kind of a. Look how fluffy you are. <laughs> to it, as you suddenly feel a blindfold put over your eyes. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, oh. While all this is happening, can I attempt a divine intervention? Yes, you may. Sweet. Mm. I just want to reach out <clears throat> to the Dawn Father and be like, I need you to make everyone very, very chill exactly right now. Uh, and it's less about uh, these bird people but more about like kind of seeing and noticing uh, how keyed up FCG is too. I yeah. want everyone to chill the fuck out. Go ahead and make a uh, divine intervention roll. D100. Hey guys, I need you to breather. roll like, can I make Laura roll it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's so good at rolling low If you right want to. No. No, it'll go really high when I'm supposed to roll low. 43. Oh. Dang it. As you are attempting to like to pray out to your tenuous relationship with the Dawn Father, uh, the four of you that are in nets feel yourselves <laughs> lifted up as the other two large talons grasp around your shoulders and lift you into the air, <laughs> and you are immediately <laughs> lifted off the side of this mountain cliff, hundreds and hundreds of feet above the mountain, and just feel the wind rushing past as <laughs> squawks kind of communicate, and you feel yourself drifting around. Um, what y'all doing? Just. Along ride? for the ride. I don't, what am a, I doing? Like a direction? So how close are you two? I'm there, baby. I was on the edge before the, tonight started. Oh no. That's <laughs> right. Is it, wait. And then wait, we got teleport sh shot on twice. But even with the mask cure wounds? It doesn't do anything. Can I? <laughs> so. Can, wait, is it possible? No. Can I cast? No, we're we're turning this group of pigeons into a bucket of chicken. Let's go. Well, can I cast calm emotions on FCG? Uh, you could if you could see. I can see because I'm going to use my telekinetic ability to pull my little blindfold down as we're flying. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Good job. 
<laughs> Just a little me too. Boop. <laughs> okay. A little I'll, shimmy. I'll allow it. So I'll you see like where we're going. move it down, cast calm emotions. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will say. I, just, I imagine I look over and I just see FCG like twitching. Yeah, and like, like for... fuck you. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Stop looking at my, me like that, you freak. <laughs> Which, as a blindfolded individual, is hilarious. Yeah. Um, You're but not yelling it out. Uh, because because you are because you are in your space, make a wisdom saving throw with disadvantage because it is a friend cast on it. Disadvantage. Yes. Seven plus something. Probably not great. Fourteen. Okay. So indeed, you feel that 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 burgeoning rage and murderous fury that's emerging from within that that long locked cell in your metallic automaton body begin to subside, oh. and a calm comes over you. Oh. Thank you, you freak. <laughs> okay. Hey, all the clattering <laughs> stopped. What happened? Uh, I don't know. Where are you? Are we all blindfolded? <laughs> You're all blindfolded and just drifting through the air. Why can't I smell that? I'm downwind of Chetney. That's Altitude. all I know. <laughs> uh, how long does that last? Uh, calm emotions oh, last. For... I'm in a bird's talons. Uh, this is like the women. fucking worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It lasts a minute, oh, but okay. it it just. It... <laughs> It lasts a minute. It doesn't like it doesn't like reset him. It just like the minute the minute's done, and then he just amps back up well, again. While, well, while I'm like this, maybe out. I can I can my, maybe I can do it all myself. Maybe I can do my own calm emotions on myself. Yeah, do it do it to yourself. What? <laughs> Service yourself. <laughs> With my left hand, I want to cast calm emotions on myself. Oh my <laughs> so it feels they like call that the stranger. <laughs> Good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like someone else is doing it. <laughs> the sound of their squawks and the flapping of wings itself is is okay. fighting your anxiety. However, as the calm emotions begins to slowly subside, you can notice that the tree line is coming close, and they've kind of spun around the mountainside. They've kind of brought you in an odd direction and are just now about to break into the forest itself as your spell fades. You begin to feel that rage build up once more, and you go ahead and cast it on yourself. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it begins to hold itself at bay for another minute before you all, in a somewhat rough way, <laughs> hit the dirt and rock floor I'm of the forest. That's going to happen before we <clears throat> slam into the ground. Did you warn anyone else? Well, I only get one person at a time, and he looks like he's about to. You could yell with your human I voice. I yell and. <laughs> Incoming. Okay, thank you. I can land appropriately. Good call. I just try to just get loose. <laughs> you just you just like ragdoll it. Just yeah. <laughs> Less injury. You just gotta go with it. Yeah, the physics are a little weird. Just like shaking, yeah. like in uh. Skyrim. Um, <laughs> I pull out my weapon right before we land. That cancels the fall damage. Alrighty. As you all impact the base of this. Uh, forest. The light, the the bright light of the mid morning sky is now shaded by the depths of this forest. And then one by one, you feel the blindfolds removed, the nets disengaged from those of you who had them, and the birds that still remain kind of <laughs> flying in the air above. The captain, standing there, shield in one hand, spear down, looking at the rest of you, goes, "If you return on sight, you will be torn limb from limb." Okay, understood. Just any warnings about the area? We don't know where we are. Good. Keep it that way. Cool. Just like Moss, <laughs> you're a piece uh, of shit. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck yeah, him. True. I agree <laughs> with Tiana. <laughs> Thank what you. What if we just end up here again and be on accident? Yeah. Well. I'm gonna cast another calm emotions on myself. Keep okay, it going. What is happening yeah, what's here? What's happening? Are, what do we um, need to do? What I do we slap need to do? FCG. No. no. <laughs> I don't know what you need to do. What? what what's but, wrong? Do we need to go? Just go to sleep? Can you just go to sleep? Go to sleep. What? What are you feeling? Can, can you communicate in this moment? What's happening? I'm just feeling. I, I don't. I feel a, a lot of a lot of rage. A lot of rage oh. happening, building up, and I just got to get rid of it somehow. Like uh, right now. Um, you want to talk I have about some it? ideas. No. Yeah, do you, do you, you got, you got like thirty hug? seconds before I cast it one more time on myself. I run up to him and I, in in his head he hears it's gonna be okay and I kiss him. I grab him and I kiss him. Okay. It's gonna be okay. I accept your kiss. 
I give you tongue. <laughs> From where? Me tongue. Me tongue. <laughs> it's really just a tongue that he bought a long time ago and he keeps right there. Yeah. So it's like. It's like a cow tongue? Yeah, it's yeah. really it's old cow. and decayed. But you know, you love who you love. So I will say, <laughs> I will say this instance, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh boy, I would have cast guidance, but I didn't want to be part of that. Was this a saving throw? <laughs> a wisdom saving throw. 20. 20. Okay, okay. And taking a moment to push back the uh, intensity of that, that burning rage within, you instead allow that calm that you're already magically induced within yourself to then bridge over to the calm you feel in Frida's embrace. And in that moment, go ahead and roll a d4 and remove that many stress points. <laughs> Real high. Two. Okay. You're okay. So good, you good? Thank you. You got that healing love. Oh. Are, you, are you still stressed out? A little bit, but way less now. Do I need to go have a special talk with Frida on how to maybe mitigate a little more stress? <laughs> we haven't had that conversation. I know, yeah, and maybe it's time. Yeah. Where, where are we? Are we? Oh, like, where oh, are wow. we? Uh, I convey to you what I what I figured out when I was looking around that we're just uh, southwest of where we. Yeah, very very far southwest of the Graying Wildlands. Right. You're not quite sure where because you've not been there, but you know you're probably on Wildmount still. I am really sorry and you about mean how that. many charges. I'm gonna need four more charges in order to get it back, so I won't be able to do it again until tomorrow, unless. The change bringer can help, and I'll cast divine intervention. Let's also. go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. Go. A full court shot. Why Come not? On. Okay. Yeah, I'm exactly. It's a little buzzer beater. We can do it. She Let's doesn't go. have to get us there. <laughs> she just has to give that that staff a little bit more what power. Else? Okay, I mean, yeah. if you get divine intervention, we maybe we should just go all out and ask her to get us there. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like the smarter choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I want to make it a manageable request. Smart requests of deities are important. Oh, real bad. <laughs> when you're 54. Oh. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, her presence, much like the Dawn Fathers, are distracted at the moment by other matters in Exandria. Oh, no. Like she needs us. No, she, she asked me to help, and I've been asked, and I asked her for help. No, you're I'm, good. That's terrible. That's the deal. No, that's not the deal. It is. I'm okay. really sorry, y'all. I've never done anything like that before. It, That's okay. Yeah, shit, it's it's right yeah, we didn't die. Yeah, it was your first time. We very well could have. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. But we We're not it. dead. We're not dead. We're all here. We 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 met some cool new bird friends. Bird people friends that do not like horrible us. people. Different. Perception check of the <laughs> woods. Any eyes? Other flapping things. Things slithering towards us. Like make perception. Now check. that we're at guidance. The what if I don't get enough spell charges back? I can't, I have, to, I have to roll to regain them a d4 plus three. No, oh, oh so I'll definitely right. get it back. There's no way yeah, to yeah. not get it back. We just have to make camp right here, right now. Okay. You roll a zero now. Looking around the space you're in, it is, it is, this whole area is on a mountain. You are in a forest, and so the, the ground itself has patches of softness, but a lot of like exposed stone and rock, like moss-covered area, and heavy pines and other tall trees that kind of rock up above to the heavy shadows. Looking up into the boughs, you can see there are like woodland creatures peering at the strangeness of these new uh, arrivals. You don't see anything threatening or anything large enough to put you on edge, but you do know that uh, these open areas of the wilds tend to carry such dangers. Yeah. With a night's rest, should you wish to hunker down? I feel like we should just That's go to That's the only thing to do, really. Right? Isn't it's it not like we're going to go explore. It is. Hey, I'm not tired. <laughs> well, can you get I tired? I, I mean, asleep. okay, you're we can a lot do that. Right we now. can. Oh, I mean, yeah. What were you saying? <laughs> I think we're saying different things. You seem really <laughs> keyed up right now. I am. And I. I love you so much, and I need you to not make your emotions other people's problems. Hey, hey, hey now, he's just, he's dealing the same way we're all dealing. He's gonna be fine. Right, I was, I thought I was being nice. In your own way. Yeah. Come correct. Oh, no, what, look what at the, you, I'm tearing, no! I'm tearing old friends apart. SCG, what do you do to relieve stress? Hmm? Well, apparently I can make out a little. Uh -huh. Sleep. There's many you can ways enter to and shut stress. down mode, or I mean, you guys can pop You're me open and just see yet. if you could do some rewiring or something. Uh, no, you know no. what? I don't think we should do I'm that. But that. you could put yourself in, <laughs> in in sleep mode, and I could. We all should, though. I mean, you're gonna need to sleep at some point. We woke up yeah, two hours ago. We just woke up. 
Well, what do you want to do? Just walk around blindly and... Yeah, we just be walking through the wilds. We should try and rest and get that staff back up. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. Okay. Oh, I can try to sleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it's less about going to sleep right now and more like taking the day here to rest. To just figure out what you need to discuss what you want, if there's anything in particular you want to handle for the day, and then an early rest for the evening. Well, if you want this to walk over somewhere and, and take a little rest, I'll watch your back while you do. Thank you, yeah. I'll, I'll shut down right away. I stand guard over FCG. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit to like draw out Drusari on a sheet of paper and like really try to visualize <laughs> it better this time. <laughs> hey, it's it's new magic, it's a new item, you know. It's gonna work out the kinks a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. While the rest of you kind of make a temporary camp for at least uh, the space you are, finding uh, probably one of the safer little spaces not quite out in the open. You can go ahead and go into an evening's rest. So I'm gonna he, try to find like a little sun patch. Okay. Aww. When he goes into his rest mode, I'm staring really intently at him, mm-hmm. and I want to cast detect thoughts Ooh. and see if I can see what he sees when he sees my brain. I just want to see if I can get anything else from from him. Okay. Uh, the very very gentle surface thoughts of your shutdown state. Is there anything there that you would convey? Oh, I mean. Do I dream when I sleep? Do I do I have thoughts, or is it rearranging? Is it just rearranging the day's events, or is it what? Is, what is it? Okay. Do you, are you handing the baton to me? I I am handing the baton to you because okay. I don't know. I've never. I've been trying to dream this whole campaign. I don't know what I dream. <laughs> <laughs> so you pick up uh, recollections of recent events. You pick up uh, just little passing moments and words and expressions. Like a, like a brief review of an important bits of affirmation. Do you delve deeper? Do I sense any sort of? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Um, but what was your question? Do you sense any sort of? Well, because he was so panicked in the moments before he, he turned off. Uh, and so I guess I'm trying to probe for the source of that panic, because I have never seen him react to anything the way he reacted to those birds. Good to know. 13? Oh, what is my, de- my spell save? 15. That's a failure. You push past, and it's, it's hard to pick up. This is, these are just, Momentary flashes, but you now truly feel that that burgeoning tension that you only saw on the surface before. There is it wouldn't even classify it as a rage, but an immovable intent to kill. There is a need to destroy and cleanse. It feels unlike FCG. It feels alien. It feels intrusive, like an intrusive thought that has grown so intrusive that it cannot be ignored any further. And the only thing that you see uh, beyond this feeling that you grasp, beyond this boundary, is uh, images of someone building. Do I see a face? Them. Not a face. You see hands. You see hands assembling. You see things being carved. You see uh, elements of enchantment being pressed within the deep recesses of the chassis of FCG within the head. There is a delicately crafted intentional intent burned within the essence of this person you're bonded with. Old, so buried. Yeah, so as an Aormaton, am I able to sense whether this is um, his original programming or like a virus? Make an Arcana check for me. Well, you know, that's... <laughs> Never know. You're trying to be great. 
Eleven. Eleven. I have no idea. It's beyond your scope of understanding of Arcana, both new and old. It's about as much as you can get out of it. Yeah, I'll sort of, I'll, I'll, I'll come out of his mind. Okay. Yeah. All right. You all take a harrowing evening's rest in a very foreign space, lost, cold. It is a cold night up here in the mountains. Uh, maybe not as chilly as some of the nights you spent in the, in the Crystal Sands Tundra, uh, but there is a lack of comfort in knowing where you are. Stay close, baby. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking to, but hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the following morning comes, and indeed, your staff will go ahead and recharge. Uh, five charges. Let's go. Five charges. Uh, in gathering yourselves, gathering your supplies, and preparing for a hopefully better intent on the next day's journey. Do you wish to cast the spell again? Come on. Uh, yes. All right. I would Focusing on Drusar. Okay. We need some guidance. Yeah. Yeah. Just what do you, <laughs> how, do I, how do we do this? Okay. Everybody go. Imogen, just a quick question. I have nothing but faith in you. Um, how do we help you? Because it feels like you're taking a lot of the burden of this, and I want to be a supportive teammate. And if I take that much damage again, I'm going to go full FCG. <laughs> I get it, I get it. <laughs> um, I'm going to take out my pan flute. I'm going to take out my pan flute, and I'm just going to play some music. Oh, okay? oh that's, that's, nice. that's, that's so cool. I love music. Yeah. That's great. Does anybody have anything that can allow me to like re-roll something? Ooh, ooh. Interesting. What is rolling? Wait, don't you have like that? What is rolling? Don't you? Have, didn't we have some potions <laughs> of motes of possibility? Uh, yeah, I don't have that anymore. Oh. I, I used that. that. I used that when we were saving Lawton. But that was a while ago. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get it. We're just, we're just gonna do it. All right. Focusing on Drusar, the place where you met your friends. I'm gonna cast command on you. <laughs> Succeed! <laughs> <laughs> I feel a, a real drive to make this happen. All right, go ahead and roll a d100 for me, Laura. Hey. Laura, Laura, come on. I, I'm, we got this. No problem. We got this. Here we go. You're going to do it too? What if we roll the same number again, baby? Oh, then I'm going to run away. Oh, a Bree is going to leave. We all get sucked into a black hole. That happens. 33. 53. Oh! <laughs> What'd you roll? 33. Okay. okay. All right. As you all grasp your equipment and clench on all sides, you feel the magic once more rip you out of the space you're in, drag you through a fiery liminal space, and then you all arrive in the middle of the night sky, which I think I accidentally pressed the wrong button, we'll switch over to that. <laughs> okay. It's such a it's full moon. Take it here. Uh, <laughs> standing atop uh, a brick and cobblestone road, the smell of smoke and misty air kind of filters in. You, your eyes have to, folk, have to adjust to the lighting for a moment, as uh, you can see there's a light mist that kind of drifts around the distant floor of the jungle that lies far below you. You glance off of a nearby railing and you can see, for those of you who have been here before, indeed you stand on the outside of one of the spires of Drusar. For those that are new to this space, you take in the surroundings here. It is likely either late night or early morning, wherever you sit, but there is a, an open sky above, uh, stars visible, little plumes of clouds kind of gently drifting through, mountain ranges that kind of span the horizon around you, like you sit within a massive uh, mountainous bowl on all sides, and the uh, basin below and all parts of ground is just covered in dense jungle that is now mostly shadow. Um, you do see from where you currently stand, two other large rock spires, like thin, uh, rising mountains that sit like natural towers. Um, masses of cityscapes built along them in a spiraling street that rises above, uh, some with long bridges and these extended cables that connect between them. It is a bit chilly. But the other thing you notice, too, is in one direction, very prominently, you can see a massive, glowing, red moon affixed in the sky 
and a pulsing thin beam that connects it beyond the mountain range. And as you take a moment to stare, it's locked in a flaring state. Ruidus is just emanating light. And that single thread itself flickers and pulses like there's movement. It's ominous. And you kind of glance around, the handful of sparse people that wander at this early hour are either armored or are quickly running to wherever their destination is. There are all manner of shadowed flying bird-like creatures up in the sky. Um, those of you that uh, have been in Jusha before, you recognize these as the Simurgs, the, uh, these large uh, bird-wolf-like hybrid creatures that are partially armored and are ridden and are just keeping scoping view in the sky around you. Uh, it is a unique mix of beautiful and unique, as well as tense under the distant glowing red image of the Ruidus moon. But it seems you have touched down successfully within the city. The minute we land, I take 16 points of damage. Oh no. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, bad moon's on the leash. Did we do it? Are we good? <laughs> We're yeah, here. this is the correct place. So Are you speed. okay? You did such a good job. I'm not hurt at We're all. Here. Oh, great! Yeah, That's you wonderful. Did it. You did totally great, great, great. great. Do you look visibly injured at all? Uh, mm -mm. just my soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing that stare where you kind of go away. You yeah. good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It hurts on the inside. <laughs> I just shit my pants again. <laughs> right. Um, Leave well, what, 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 what spire are we on? Can we tell? Oh yeah. Are we by? Uh. You are kind of glancing around. It's it's not entirely familiar to you, but uh, at least the direct specific location you are. But you assess rather quickly that you would be on the Smolder Spire. And for those you can see, like the uh, the visual spire that you can see is the largest one itself. It's this massive kind of core section, uh, the largest amount of city that wraps up with all manner of buildings across it at different levels. At the top, there is uh, a, a majestic, almost like a palace-like construction that kind of crests and crowns the top of it. Uh, the spire you're on currently, you can smell the smoke and soot, and there are exhausts throughout that just kind of give these black smoke plumes that rise up into the sky and then drift and mingle with the clouds and wind above before dissipating. You also, I will say note, for those of you who have been here before, the night, the, the, the warm lights, the magical lights that adorn the city and give it kind of its you know, speckled glow in the middle of the night hours are a bit diminished. And a, a deeper shadow kind of falls across the city. Hmm. Um, we're meeting our, we're, we're hoping to meet our friends here, right? I mean, uh, yeah. I think so. Fire if, by fire, or we're we going to the sit, sit and spin. Well, sit, we don't even know where they. Spin. We're we're near the sit and swill right now. Yeah. Um. So we could start there, but should we? We can't scry. We can't sending, right? I mean, I, I unless to, if it works here, I don't know. I'll try to scry. If you want to try sending. Sure. Um. Uh. Wait, didn't you have something with? Um. Your friend Lana's blood on it. Yeah. Can I borrow that real and quick? I pull I'll give it back. Vial out. Sure. I just need to touch it. You don't even have to take it off. Oh, I just great. hold it. <laughs> just reach up and grab your necklace. I'm gonna try to scry on Lana. And try and scry on Lana. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I've heard of the target. We're doing great. You have indeed. <laughs> I've heard of the target. And you have something of theirs. Yeah. I also have this red. <clears throat> Yarn bracelet. Uh, body stuff gives uh, is better. Better. Yeah, okay. slightly better. Okay. So they have a negative five to the save. Yep. Guidance. I don't think I roll. No, this would yeah. be a lot. Cool. But thank you. <laughs> I appreciate feeling supported. This is very nice. I'm sorry. I said the mean thing earlier. No, it's all right. It's my fault. And then, no. Oh no. <laughs> Cast the everything I do is wrong. Oh no. <laughs> okay. As you concentrate uh, and focus, you feel your kind of spiritual self partially removed from your physical consciousness, and through a, a 
kind of dimmed sunrise light of the Dawn Father. You feel yourself pulled through the realities of Exandria, uh, clouded by mists and fog until they dissipate. And there you see, uh, in some subterranean space, uh, like a, a cavern, a carved Dane to call it a living area, but it is a, a, a cave chamber of some kind. There is some simple furniture about what looks to be uh, a cot, um, and not too far from where this is, you can see kind of curled up, not even really sleeping, kind of uh, eyes wide and thinking. A pale, thin, almost stretched and lithed woman, stringy black hair with a streak of white, uh, darkened dress, uh, small pile of materials and supplies next to her. And she just kind of nods and thinks for a second. Safe, but you're uncertain as to where. Okay. I wanted to do and I let go of the necklace and just trying very hard to look very chill and failing. I didn't want you to get hurt. If you're gonna try, I think you should maybe try sending, because I just saw her and she's very cute. And she's safe she's in a cave. She's, she's away. Yeah, she's Why did we do that before? No, Wait, no, we, we didn't no, no, even no, 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 try no. that before? Hey, no, no, it's okay. I think maybe it's proximity or the moon. I don't know, but it's good and you should do it and ha! Ah, did, did, did you see anyone else with her? Was she? Oh, I was kind of just. Did I, I, I it's see? Okay, it's okay. I just no, was wondering. she was like on the ground by a pile Where? of stuff in a cave. Did she, in a cave? Okay? did she look okay? Did she look hurt? Did she look? No, I mean she looks kind of. You described her like um, beautiful, spooky, and I get that. She seemed fine. She seemed fine. She didn't seem worried at all. All right. Not deader than normal. No, I don't think so. All right. So I think she's okay. I think your friends are okay. That's good. That's good. Well, that's one, good. one anyway. Well, that's, she would probably look sad if everyone else was bad. Yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. I just squeeze Imogen. Yeah. You just try it. It's I'm good. gonna, I'm gonna try to cast gonna sending. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a D100. Oh, shit. <laughs> I trust you. What do oh, you no, say? No, no. I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> 69, baby! Nice! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Hold on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Can't write it. It's, it's a sex thing. I'm telling that story. It's a sex thing. It's a sex thing. It's a sex thing. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Deeply ignorant. As you finish the incantation, focusing in this moment of kind of uh, joyful confirmation. Aha. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the most joyful uh, confirmation. That hum returns. That. <laughs> That buzzing static sound and the connection is lost. No pain, though. No pain. Oh, that's great. Didn't, didn't work. work. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't work. Still no, but it didn't hurt. It didn't work. But that's great to know that that that, that she's okay. Okay. All right. In a cave. That doesn't sound. Well, Drew, sorry. Sorry. It could be below. You all had the thought to come here because this is where you would have met up. So you have to assume yeah. that they had the same thought. And yeah. that's positive. Yeah, and maybe if they had to move on to a cave or something, they left word. So we should go to the yeah. places that we frequent and ask if th there's a message for us or something. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. But, I mean, spire by fire. We're closest to the soot and swill. We should check there with Pretty. Maybe she left word with Pretty. Yeah, Astros's uh, place. Nope, that was covered. No, that in blood. was got and Shadonis. Uh, that's the only other place yeah. I can uh, think. Yeah. So we'll real quick go to the soot and swill because I think that's on the smolder spile, spire, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Go there first. Yeah, because the trolleys, they, they charge an arm and a leg. Oh. There's a whole gondola thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just minor illusion, recreate the thing I saw in scrying, uh, just in case it's recognizable. Like, I've made a diorama of what I saw. <laughs> Look at this cute little hole. Yeah. Is that a shoebox? Yeah, thank you. Does it oh, look no. familiar at all? Jenny blew it away. <laughs> I recast it. <laughs> Hold your breath. Does it look familiar at all? The environment? No. I don't know where that is. But as you, those of you who have been there before, kind of guiding the, the new compatriots along, you wander on the outside of the somewhat industrial aspect of the city, passing by the closed-at-the-moment mines, 
the uh, many homesteads that the windows are darkened this early in the morning, the uh, occasionally darkened uh, kind of lantern poles that sit at the various corners, some alit with a perpetual flame, others that are just dark. Uh, not, un- not unlike many of the disenchanted lighting arrangements in Uthodurn. Does it look like we could get in trouble for being out, like the wardens are, are keeping people in their houses, or? Oh, curfew vibes. Make a perception check. <laughs> this is on the wind. Oh. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, you don't. You don't see anyone uh, actively searching to like keep people indoors at all. Um, but the people that are out there, and you only see a handful, and they're not paying you much mind, but they're kind of like quickly ushering through the streets. There is a, a hurried sense of tension that you at least are kind of grasping from the movement of people. Uh, some of the uh, the warders themselves, the Armored guards kind of uh, walk by and kind of give you a look, but they kind of have almost a, a spooked energy to them as they pass by. Uh, but you do eventually come to the exterior of the uh, the Sutton Swill, this uh, homey tavern that you can already tell by the exterior of it is meant to feel welcoming to the the standard workers of the more uh, hard industrial side of Drusar. Uh, coming into the warm, uh, kind of firelit interior, it is mostly empty at this hour. You see one individual, uh, this kind of, uh, kind of rotund-looking dwarf fellow who's passed out in the far corner. This like thick black hair that's kind of pulled back and then tied up into almost like a top knot that would flop in front of his eyes. Were he conscious, is just snoring loudly against one table. Um, it's a good way to see if you look good with bangs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Anybody in there? Uh, at the moment, the front desk is not attended, but as you kind of enter footsteps, you see as uh, an older gentleman kind of steps down, a uh, familiar kind of knight uh, purveyor uh, who currently holds when Preo is resting at this hour, at least, comes down. You can see the uh, older half-elven man uh, kind of rush down with a kind of a it's not even like a like a robe necessarily, more than just like a uh, a comfortable business uh, blouse that kind of extends past his knees. It's kind of wrapped around. Um, uh, are you looking for a room at this hour? No, is 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 pretty available or? Actually, do you know? Are there? Is there? I guess we know they're not here. But did anyone leave word for um, Bell's Hales? Like, do you have messages written down somewhere? Um, no, no messages, but you, you asked for pretty? I could inquire, hold on. Now, and he steps back up the stairs and leaves for a few minutes, and then uh, about 10 minutes of waiting, the gentleman returns and kind of goes back to sit behind the front desk, and you hear the <coughs> heavy footfalls behind Don't the corner. fall in love. As the yeah. door opens, we went on a date with that promise. He is, uh, yeah, we went on a date. He's something. You see a, yeah. a um, massive eight and a half foot tall ogre emerges oh, okay. from the nearby table okay. uh, with this like long nightcap that dangles past his mid back with this little oh. burst oh. at the oh, end. He's got a night uh, coat on that goes right past his knees, but like a little bit too high. It looks uh-huh. like it, was, it, it it barely fits him, and you can see stitch marks. It looks like it's been expanded multiple times to try and fit his ogre form. Uh, the patterns don't quite match; it's a little off. Um, but he exits and goes, "Hello." Hi, pretty. My goodness! <laughs> and like runs down the steps. Two of them like kind of crack under his weight, but he rushes down and gives a big sweeping hug to the two of you, like in one big grasp, and lifts you both up. It's been a while. It has. You're <laughs> here early. Yeah, we actually, well, we've been been away for a while. Yeah. H- have you seen Laudna at all? No. Or, 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 or Orum or, or Ashton? No. No? All right. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's we all got separated and we were hoping to meet up soon, so. Oh, well, I'm sure if you're looking for them, they're looking for you. That's right. Yeah. Do you want some breakfast? No. Oh, no, no. I, yeah, I'm hungry. No. Oh no, I think. We should, well, we should go. Maybe look. At, let's keep looking. Okay. Hey, has it been a weird few days for you? Anything? Anything happen? 
It's been a little odd. Um, all the lights in the sky made for some some fun celebrations. A lot of people drinking, getting excited, but also a lot of strangers. The moon's been kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> Have you seen anyone that is just all red and kind of mm, walking around? Even running through the streets uh, wouldn't Anything? have been a happy thing. Yeah. No. That's good. That's yeah, a good that's thing. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Yeah. Hmm. It's been a little hard to get around the city. Some of the gondolas stopped working. Oh. Oh. Some? Darn. Not all. Yeah. Oh, oh. Is it hard to get over to the core spire right now? Maybe. All right. Oh, shit. I like pretty so much. Yeah. While they're talking, can I make an attempt to like stealthily fix uh, the mismatched like seam on Pretty's outfit? <laughs> like, ooh, the sewer and he's like, let him. I can do this. Can I fix it? Thank you. Oh God, I need it. What a bad roll. <laughs> okay. I see what she's doing. Twelve. Huh. Twelve. He's like talking to you both. Yep. Oh, this massive meaty Hi. hand just grabs your arms and oh. kind of like lifts you up a bit. Hi. Who are you? Hi, I'm so sorry. My name's Deanna. I and don't have pockets to pick. Oh, I'm not picking a pocket. You're oh. in pajamas. That's true. Yeah, I just, um, it looks like you've done a little bit of uh, t tailoring to your pajamas, and they didn't quite get the pattern right. I can fix it. Can I just give me one second? I'm so sorry. I should have said something first. I didn't want to interrupt. You were having a beautiful moment. Puts you down and goes like, <laughs> it's hard to find patterns in my body size. Yeah. Oh. God, if we have more time, I'll come back. I can draft something. For you. She's Hold really on. great. I yeah. sort of wrapped myself in the shawl she made. She's oh, wow. fantastic. Yeah, you yeah. You did that. Yeah. I did. Hold on. Uh, and I want to reach into my little bag and pull out the biggest thing, I, I think it's a blanket, but it's just kind of like a handkerchief. <laughs> Here for you. You hold that. Okay, I'm going back. And I'm just gonna use a mixture of bending and my dagger to just a realign <laughs> and fix that. Ooh. Here you go. Much better. Flat seams too, so when you sleep on your back, it doesn't, it doesn't bother you as much. I appreciate that immensely. <laughs> Sorry, that was distracting. We can oh, keep going. Oh, it's bad. almost oh, pleaded. Oh, oh. So much better. New friend. It kind of like pats you on the shoulder, oh, which kind of almost pushes you down yeah. into one knee. I take a knee like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bud. Yeah. In your head, you hear, he, he dumped us. We didn't dump him, just for the record. No fucking way, yeah. part of my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happened. Okay, okay. Well, um, if you see them, um, please, please, please let them know that we're we're okay, and um, and that we'll meet them meet on them the core the spire core somewhere. Spire if we can get over yeah, there. Definitely. The, the, say the spire by fire. That's the spire That's by fire. fire. Have you happened to see um, a guy with like long hair? <laughs> this and, is end of description. Uh, <laughs> Oh, luminous? <laughs> like what? Like what? Long hair, luminous. He's really old but distinguished, old. smarmy. Minor illusion. This motherfucker. Oh! <laughs> wow, you made a shoebox around. Me. <laughs> uh, to be honest, a gentleman of such an esteemed visage would likely not frequent an establishment such as ours. Oh, don't sell yourself short. This place is the tits. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thanks. Mm. Okay. All right, well, back to sleep. Back to sleep. I can make breakfast. No, 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 no. We got. We gotta go. No. So Thank you. Bye. We just All right. wanted to wake you up, sell you some clothes, and leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you again. You're always you. welcome to come back. back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bye. Come on. Oh, it's it's always, it's so like I always right. forget so that it's gonna get awkward. It's pretty one way. I mean, it's turned down for an Imogen. Wait, so, what? Yes. Yeah, they, yeah they, all right. They to so that. look. Yes. Well, we don't need to dwell on it, it's fine. That's amazing, I have more we questions. We were trying to build his I turned to go back in and, and ask pretty just, more questions. Sure. <laughs> no, get, you're not going in there, we gotta go to the core. <laughs> you hear him going back up to his room to, to sleep. <laughs> that, uh, that, like, Drunk, my like, passed out dwarf kind of like moses out a bit, rubs his eyes, and wanders off into the night. The uh, the warders you can see are starting to like become a little more dense in the streets as the bit of the sunrise is beginning to peak over the horizon. The smergs are growing more dense. You can see the kind of the lines of technicolor lay energy that are all kind of gathering in the direction of where Rude is still kind of looms in the sky. And it just stays during the day now, too, as it gets lighter, it's still looking very oh present. Oh, god, yeah, oh god. Um, Sorry, that's crazy. Oh, doing you that, also yeah. can see as as the, the sky gets a little bit brighter, a lot more of the city's shadows and the the kind of skyline becomes apparent. Uh, on top of the the massive simurgs that are keeping watch around, uh, as the city begins to kind of wake up to life, you can see the skyport at the apex of the airy spire is cluttered mm. with the sky ships, and you can even see some of the. Uh, nearby mountain range is kind of off to the side. There are a handful of other sky ships that are anchored amongst the nearby mountain ranges. We used to have locations. Yeah, we crashed oh, so it. Cool. Oh, on purpose? Mm. Yeah. Ooh, unfortunate. Yeah. It wasn't like the best idea we've ever had. Okay. <laughs> it was fun. Curiouser and curiouser. Every <laughs> new detail. More about wild. How are we going to get across? Well, let's see. Let's see if maybe let's give it a nice. shot. Yeah. I, okay. Something occurred to me in, in the sit and swill? Sit and swill. Yeah, the sit, sit and spin. Sit and spin. spin, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that scry spell that, that you use, do yeah. you only need something that belongs to the individual that you're trying to find? Um, it's usually, it's a mixture of how well I personally know them and if I have something of theirs. So you, because we now have all of these things that belong to this ludinous? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, right. I mean, yeah. we have personal property of his and papers and things, right? Yeah, could, could we could give it a try. Just, uh, I, I think the more it. powerful m wizards can can block it or have abilities. But who knows? Maybe he's not expecting anyone. Catch him to on a bad day. Shit. It's very early in the morning. He's half asleep. Yeah, yeah. Maybe let's oh get God, to the spire yeah, and then. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's right. find our friends first. Yeah. Just okay. an idea. Yeah, it's a great That's idea. It's a very good idea. Oh. And as we're traversing hey, wherever we're going, I'm just going to make sure I'm I'm constantly on I'm scanning to make sure that no one, whoever's looking at us, doesn't immediately recognize these three uh, negatively. Okay, make a perception check. Oh, with pleasure. <laughs> sure, I'll take it. Um, D6, right? D4, or D6. D4. D4. Yeah. So that's a three plus eleven, so that's fourteen. Uh, Sixteen. 16. I totally Got thought it. that was a 19 <coughs> from my angle, and then it was not oh, at no, all that. You excited me. No, I was insane. really excited. So 16 total. 16, okay. Uh, looking around the space here, uh, you don't see anyone paying particular notice in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable. You are definitely a colorful troop of people, and as the city is uh, coming to, to, to life through the, the waking hours of the morning, uh, the bustle is definitely tense. There is a general air of Kind of fear, in from what you're used to. Uh, most shopping uh, is done quickly. People who have bags to do their errands of the day are beelining it and keeping their head down. Uh, most people you can see kind of look up towards the sight of the moon in the sky and kind of quicken their pace. Um, you also notice that beyond the uh, warders, the armored guards of the city that work beneath the uh, Chende Corum to keep the city safe, you begin to see other soldiers, other figures of somewhat unfamiliar armor. Uh, you begin to see kind of heading into uh, nearby taverns or uh, marketplaces, uh, people looking to buy supplies and such. You see armored figures of different militaries, some wearing raiments, uh, you know, long robes beneath their breastplates, and heavily uh, visible holy symbols of various uh, deities. You see uh, other cell swords or actual life soldiers that are here. You're not certain how long they've been and how long they'll remain. 
but as the light gets brighter in the sky too, you get a better glance at some of these sky ships, and a lot of them are battleships. Mm. Not unfamiliar to some of the ones that you saw smashed. Uh, smashed or destroyed upon arrival at the excavation site at the time of the solstice. Yeah. I'm That's in the house. house. They said the armies. <laughs> they never <clears throat> leave. Yeah. Yeah, this seems like the worst possible thing in the world. So. We're like in a staging area, which is not great. Wait, what if, because the Changebreaker visited you, and the Dawnfather visited, if that was sort of a mass, all of Vasselheim was told uh, that Get the gods, go. yeah. Oh, mm. wow. It's cool. It's very cool. It is very cool. I got I wonder chill bumps. <laughs> I wonder if after the event, you guys, that transported you to us, uh, if there were any prisoners held here, if there were any any people left alive uh, from 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 the the other guys. Oh, from, maybe. From the bad Luden guys. S, yeah, the bad guys. You do notice, Frida, at this time, that close to... Ludinus is walking down the street. Yeah, he comes <laughs> up and he's like, nice to meet you. I think <laughs> um, <laughs> He's got bangs now. <laughs> One of the massive cables that stretches from this part of the spire up to the massive central core of the five spires that make up the city of Drusar, now that you've kind of walked around and can see all five that make up this, this, this metropolis, uh, you can see the gondola itself is kind of locked into place on this end, and there's a massive, like, Stone automaton that stands on this crank that is affixed to it that is just cold and, un and not moving. Mm -hmm. um, next to it is a line. There is a queue of about mm. 35 or 40 people that have just kind of wound up around the edge, and you can see there is um, a, uh, a robed figure wearing what looks like official uh, quorum uh, decor and, and kind of sigils that shows that they're part of the quorum itself, and they are one by one. I say like actually like four by four, uh, sending individuals on a floating platform with a dull blue glow underneath it, and it looks like they are essentially with the with the gondolas that are down. They are attempting to move people throughout the city through other means, though it is a much slower process. There's got to be a faster way can to stand. We? Can, we, can, we can we fly? What? I mean, I can fly. Let's see. I could probably carry a couple of you. One additional. If I, can, I mean, I can use a. I can fly three of us. Well, we still have those. Okay. Uh, that's one way. We still have the paperwork that says we're, we're from the king and queen of Uthador. Maybe we can uh, um, implement some sort like of. Like a fast uh, pass situation? Yeah, what's like oh. a diplomatic immunity situation? Yeah. We, Where we, we need jump to cut the line. this line and get there that immediately. Um, yeah, I'm all about cutting. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate waiting. It just wastes so much time. I agree. Um, yeah, we could try. Otherwise, yeah. it sounds like we're gonna fly. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. We'll go to the front. Okay. So you step past the line. You can we're see. We're very important. <laughs> yes. okay. There are a, a number of soldiers that are kind of at the front here. Uh, you can see there's a warder towards the front, and many of the other uh, townsfolk that are. Out to run their business for the day. Some look to be uh, workers that have like some satchels over their shoulders. They all kind of, all of them at once, kind of give you, kind of a, no a, a tense dagger <laughs> stare as you approach the front. And the uh, the gentleman who's currently operating uh, what you would know to be called a, a broom skipper. Uh, they are oh, they are one of the more expensive means of transportation during normal hours. They're usually used for the um, the well off and important. Uh, Mahan houses of the city. They often have somebody who is assigned to kind of uh, shuttle them throughout the city yes. who does this. But now they've been taken by the quorum and put to doing public service sure in a time it. of challenge. On the way over, I'm going to just press the digitization <coughs> all of us so we look bright and shiny. Okay. Uh, you approach the gentleman who looks tired, haggard. This uh, uh, human man with uh, kind of a, a receding hairline. Uh, grayish white hair that kind of kind of comes to a inward curl, almost like a like a a bob if you don't have the bangs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, a, a nose that has outgrown the rest of his aged face, so it kind of hangs down a little bit over the front lip. Oh. Um, but he looks like a like a, a nice fellow, just very tired. And he <laughs> turns you turns you as you all approach. I am terribly sorry, but you need to get to the back of the line. Of course, m m most definitely, and and we we will or we would, but we come on urgent business from the king and queen of Uthadern. 
<laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> okay. I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. Guidance? Anybody? Guidance, guidance. <laughs> we cast magic yes. as you talk. Yeah. Just pat me on the back. Uh, that would be a, uh, wait, uh, 17. A 17, looks, looks at the paper. Uh, looks at the rest of the group staring at him and kind of sighs deeply. Just give me a moment. <sighs> kind of looks at it and stands there, and you watch as the uh, the broom skipper that's across the massive gap, the space, the wind blowing through, the uh, clusters of birds kind of flapping by as the sun gets brighter in the sky. SCG kind of tenses up even further. Uh, eventually it coasts back over, and you can see the first group begins to step forward, and he goes, quickly. My apologies, uh, this is on a very important quorum business. Uh, just another moment, and you could hear like, what? Yeah, geez, Shouting yeah, geez, whispers, yeah, angry. <laughs> <laughs> These are designed to hold four people. Um, little guys. You have two little guys. We're two little guys? Diana, you need to kill one of us. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> pull a Jerry. <laughs> We're back to this again. <laughs> I make choices. All right, you. Put you on my shoulders. You, you, oh, you get yeah. over there first in case you find her. I can I can stand by and wait for the next. No, no, no. No, no we're all going. Can she like turn into a mouse or something? Oh yeah. I'll be a little guy. Oh yeah, I'll be a little guy. I'll be a, I'll be a <laughs> little guy. Okay. All right, I'll wild shape into a, into a, into a, a raccoon dog. Okay. So as everyone's like, <laughs> you hear the you hear the frustration, the whispers, and the cursing, and the the not so nice things being said in the nearby crowd. And as soon as you sh transform, half of them go, "Oh, what did she see? What she did? That was incredible. She turned into a mouse." Just what? pick her up. <laughs> Just a sweet little raccoon dog. Yeah. All right. Hey, what does a raccoon dog look like? Oh, they're so cute. I'll show it's you. It's a tanuki. <laughs> okay. All right. This is a bit about this big to pet. Oh my god. Go raccoon. Oh my god. <laughs> Your paper is handed back to you, you. and you all step onto the broom you skipper, like which. Oh, I love it. <laughs> dislodges and begins to move. Now, the, the broom <laughs> skipper itself is about uh, a little over 10 feet across, uh, and the guard on the sides of it is about two and a half feet tall. Standing in the middle of this, <laughs> standing in the middle of this disc, uh, among, you know, all of you standing on it as it kind of shifts over, the wind picks up a bit, <laughs> and that, the nerves hit as you realize it is moving. But you if are. Holding me, I'm shaking my tail. No, nope. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much worse than the gondolas. It's, it's terrifying. Just like, it's calm fine. Calm emotions. Calm Here's emotions. I, you know, it's everything's oh. fine. It slowly <laughs> picks up speed. And it's moving enough where the, the wind that's hitting you from this side is now meeting the wind that's hitting you from this side. And a little part of you. I get uh, down on my knees. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to the rail. As, and some of you instinctually kind of almost go for it as you grab the railing as well to get a little low, because as it's cruising along, there's a moment where you're uncertain if it's tilting or not. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Cast Bless. <laughs> Just in case we all fall out and die. I can fly now. This should not be an issue. This should not be an issue. <laughs> you watch as the core spire approaches. And as it gets closer and closer, the, the the massive scope of the central spire of Drusar uh, begins to truly set itself before you. Uh, the sunlight growing higher in the sky, the warmth, the temperature shifting into a warm morning, into what will be probably a hotter day. Uh, the mists that mostly choke the jungle below begin to slowly subside to show the greenery and the bursts of color that make the life below. You approach and anchor on the opposite side, kind of quickly step off. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, are you okay there? I couldn't even talk. Okay? Holy shit. It was oh. so quiet on the trail. I got two belly buttons now. That was, that was terrible. Oh. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my god, god. death ward on Chetney. Okay. Death ward. Not like this. But, you know that voice that goes, jump! Man, that bitch was oh. screaming. Oh. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Deanna, as you're on my shoulders, you just sort of hear in your head, uh, uh, as I'm looking up at this massive cityscape and just thinking, I don't think I've ever felt this small before. Ah! <laughs> How are you in my head? <laughs> oh, I think when we screwed up the transportation the first time, some powers got, uh, <laughs> wires got crossed, because I can speak to people in their brains now. Oh my God. I know. What were you saying? Sorry, I got lost in the. You were in my head all of a sudden. You've never seen. I'm focused. No, it's focused. It's nothing. I we're just. Fine. 
wrap my arms around your head, just kiss you on the top of your head. Yeah, that this is nice. incredible. Yeah, we're seeing the world. It's an adventure. How is it on the central spire, same? Similar energy, but you do see as you're approaching it, not on the the level you're at, but above. Uh, there looks to be a regiment of about a hundred more soldiers that are kind of gathering at one place. Uh, make a perception check for me. Yo. Nineteen. Nineteen. You also see another skyship that is approaching from like the northeast side. That's appearing over the distance. Uh, two more are beginning to dislodge and head in a southern direction, and down below in the areas at the base of the Drusar uh, Lantern Spire, where much of the kind of like surrounding ground level village exists, you can see there are soldiers gathering. Whatever we do, you should do it quickly. Let's make it to the. <clears throat> Oh, fire by fire. As we walk in, I'm going to cast Locate Creature Ooh. and look for Aurum. Okay. A little guy is a creature. Just a little guy. I, I don't know. Does that does it work on people? Locate Creature? Yeah. Yeah, you could okay. you can specify a person if you want. Great. Okay. <coughs> Nothing, unfortunately, is picking up in your periphery, but you can maintain the concentration for as long as the I spell will. lasts. Oh. All right. <laughs> Following your friends. Oh. Do they look like they're prepared? Uh, they're preparing for an attack? You're uncertain. I'm you don't have a lot of military experience. They look like they're definitely, oh my god. You are uh, <laughs> armed. <laughs> they are armed and they are. <laughs> they are ready. I don't know who to listen to now. <laughs> ready for the, the possibility of a chance encounter, like any well trained soldier would be. As we pass by a group of soldiers, I'm just going to um, detect thoughts. Just to get an idea of, of when okay. they're preparing. For Surface power. thoughts as you pass by, you uh, you pick up anxiety, you pick up frustration, uh, not having enough information, being sent suddenly. Um, some of them are not quorum. Some of them are from afar. Some of them are like the senses. I've, I've never been so far. This place is interesting. Where are we going? Another like passing thought is missing home. Uh, and missing their family. Uh, other ones are uh, the strange prayers they've had as of late. Um, it's a whole odd shifting window into the disparate lives of trained soldiers sent to a place on orders they don't fully understand. But you eventually come to the exterior of the spire by fire. Here against the central core, the, the base of the core spire here, surrounded by all many number of buildings and uh, structures and shops and this, this beautiful, colorful, vibrant town. Uh, even at this hour in which many of you have seen it come to life in the brightness of the, the high morning uh, is diminished. Uh, the military presence here in the recent events definitely uh, leaves the city uh, under a, a, a gentle lockdown whether by decree or by just a lack of wishing to be uh, outdoors and, and perceived by the tensions that are flowing through Drusar now. For the Spire by Fire, the, the, the burning torchlight on the exterior of the double door entryway, it is a welcoming, tall, multi-storied tavern and inn that is built into the rock itself, and as you step within, you can hear gentle music playing, the massive kind of chandelier light fixture in the center, the secondary floors that roll up. There are dozens of tables around in the center of the far back corner you see, uh, sitting there pouring uh, a heavy tankard of ale this early in the morning, a uh, massive male Katari, uh, lion-like humanoid, um, with an orange-brown fur and a big dark mane, uh, who's sitting there kind of taking a big swig before it looks up and kind of assesses some of you. <laughs> I recognize you. You've been here before. It's been some time, eh? That's true. Yes, we, uh, we have. But we're actually looking for uh, uh, some of our friends. Have you uh, have you seen the rest of our group? Bells, spells, hells, by any chance? You remember them? No, I I, I remember you had friends. I've not seen uh, I've seen your friends around here necessarily, but you know we're we're making it work. Uh, <laughs> Uh, do you do you want do you want to stay here? Do you no. want? We haven't had a lot of uh, a lot of patrons the past couple of days. We can make you breakfast. We can do all kinds of crazy things. Um, make get you uh, drinks. You want a room? 
We probably should. We should probably eat or something. Yeah. Sure. I mean, the, the so hungry. Hot. Yes. Please. Thank you. Those soldiers that we're meeting up are they on a higher level or on our uh, on the same level and just further down the? Uh, they were on a higher level okay. of the core spire. Are we see any armored individuals taking breakfast in here? Uh, not yet. Okay. Um, but you, within a short time of kind of settling in the space here, some soldiers begin to emerge from deeper in the tavern, and you begin to get the sense that why he's, why this uh, this uh, individual, why Ashir might be wanting patrons is because the tavern has largely been taken over as a temporary barracks and housing yeah. for the military passing through. Yeah, breakfast would be great. We'll take the works. Yeah. Full breakfast. So much breakfast. I'll pay for it, I got it. Wait, do you take money from the Darren? I didn't convert any of my currency for that. Hey, gold is gold, <laughs> silver is silver. Okay. Give me, give me what you got. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna position myself closest to the soldiers and pay close attention to what they're Thank saying. Thank you. And trying to, I'll just try and figure out what's going on here with the planning. Okay. Can I make just? A, oh, sorry. So make a history check for me. A history check. Yes. There's history right there. Twenty, dirty twenty. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, you do notice that some of these soldiers, while some of them wear similar armor, though a little more intense than the warders that guard the town, um, others carry emblems and uh, attire that you have seen from uh, traveling members of the Menagerie Coast. Mm. Um, there are symbols of the Clovis Concord present, um, as well as uh, a symbol that you do recognize from what you've maybe heard of around, but you can gather to be probably uh, the crest of the Council of Tal'Dorei. Oh. Um, there is a spread of representation here uh, as far as a cluster of military might sent from abroad. Is there, I'm going to sidle up and you're free to and just look around. Do we, we've heard a lot about the Stratos throne, is that a? Is that a group that we would know about? You wouldn't you, make a history check. Okay. <laughs> As I slide you here, I'll convey that to you. History check. 12. 12. And what you recall from what you've learned about in the past is the, the Stratos throne, uh, they, that's the faction to the far southwest of Marquette. That was one half of the Apex War. Um, Do they still exist, though? They still exist. Okay. They're just relatively, Comparably isolationist since the war, okay. um, they've been kind of recovering in the aftermath of the stalemate end of the, of the Apex War. Cool. Um, you know them as the the ruling government of where you grew up, though they largely didn't have much of an impact beyond uh, pressing for taxation and tithes upon uh, Javan. Uh, their 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 seat of government is high up in the southern mountains, where the heavy snow and the clouds kind of take the peaks. Um, you don't see them represented here yet. All right. Um, could I step outside while everyone's settling down to get some breakfast? Mm -hmm. Can I see Ruidus from from where we are? Yes, yes, you can. Uh, you have to step a little bit, a little ways out of the Spire by Fire, out into the street, and as the kind of now higher in the sky sunlight hits your eyes a bit as they adjust, you glance over, and there are some clouds kind of gathering uh, on the horizon, but indeed there, kind of just looming above. Unmoving, bright, burning red, Ruidus greets you. If I focus on it, do I feel any anything different? Does it feel like the sort of draw that I had in my in my dream or anything? I mean, there's always kind of a very, very faint pull, like if a thread were connected to your sternum, and it was just the gentlest of tugs. Um, I'm going to try to uh, send a message, I don't know if it'll work, but maybe because it's a shorter distance, to Shadana. Okay. Um, it's Imogen. Has Lana checked in? Is she at your house, maybe? Are you all right with everything? Roll a D100. Oh my lord. Girl. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. Christian's <laughs> <laughs> fucking done with you. He's over. That's amazing. He's like, get out of my space. You are ruining me. You're putting me. shit on me, and I don't need that smoke. He's like, don't Leaching. touch me. Leaching. Like, let me um, I Whoa. rolled a two. You rolled a two? Zero, zero, two. Okay. <laughs> Just gone. Yeah. Let's go. What the? Oh, it worked. Oh, it worked. Oh. Maybe it's a good thing to roll low on this one. Oh, no. oh, okay. That's a good thing. I, I didn't. What is happening? <laughs> She's gonna kill this woman. <laughs> Hello? She knows it's me. I've talked to her in her head. No, before. she knows. <laughs> She's... Oh. I have not seen Lotna anywhere. Oh, oh no. Do you want juice? <laughs> Do you want juice? <laughs> Just make sure babies are fed. Oh, Making sure God. babies are fed. But that is oh, the first that. successful attempt at ascending. Hey. So, hey. hey, you're getting your magic back. She's close by. She's close by. All right, I'm gonna. I'll go in. I'll go in. Okay. Can I, yeah. I can I buy a little round of uh, breakfast ales and take it over to one of the tables where a collection of some of those armored individuals are coming in? Mm-hmm. And I'll saddle up and say, "Hey, hey, y'all. Um, this is we were. Um, I don't mean to pry. Just figure like there's nothing, nothing like a couple cold mugs of ale to get you warmed up for a good." Reckoning. You can see that, like, putting on their pauldrons, they're like assembling what elements of their armor they have to put on before they go ahead and leave for the morning. Yeah, it's encumbering. I like to stay stretchy, you know, <laughs> keep the vibe. Anyway, um, I was wondering if, you know, we got kind of displaced when the moon did its thing, and I, I came from the dividing plane, so I recognized a little of the Taldore and I spent my time in the Menagerie Coast. Is there someone coordinating all of your um, efforts? We'd love to join the, the cause. I kind of look at each other, and uh, one of them speaks up. <clears throat> We're just following orders. We were sent here not but a number of days ago. Uh, that is all that we know. Uh, from your individual uh, commanders uh, from the Menagerie Coast, uh, there's no coordination between? From our individual commanders that are here with us, yes. Who are you? Oh, my name's Chetney Parkopi, C Pop Industries. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, I was just seeing if maybe there was like a larger effort being, you know, put together in case you needed some wisdom. One of the warders, kind of, uh, you know, nearby, one of the, the warder soldiers kind of leans in a bit and goes, I assume that you would have to speak to the quorum if you wanted to know, but. Um, we are here on military business. Ooh, I like the way you said that. Wow, that was impressive, yes. Well, here, um, some breakfast ales for these gents. And ladies, I, uh, is it just, just, just fell? No, no, there, 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 there's a spread of <laughs> <laughs> genders amongst yeah. the military for, here. For my friends here, um, may your ass kicking um, go well. Thank you for your gracious, respectful offering to hard-working soldiers. Um, this concludes our conversation. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, no. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna make little stink eyes. Oh, good morning. <laughs> I walk over. Yeah. They're fucked. They're all working independently. Mm -hmm. It's all foobar. <laughs> we'll do much better on our own. Okay. May, you know may I? Um, I'm still a raccoon dog. dog. Right. Yes, you are. <laughs> just like a little, a little fatty patty do raccoon dog. Just plain oh, he's still learning. Yeah, I didn't change. Um, I want to look around and see, like, I don't know, maybe Council of Taldori. I don't know, whatever seems like the most important-looking group, and go over to their table. Okay, make an insight check. Okay. I wish I could cast guidance. <laughs> just pat her. <laughs> I just hit her, and the dog goes. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 22. Oh, 22. Um, there are three small groups of soldiers here. There doesn't appear to be any like visual ranking on them. They're just kind of waking up in the morning before they have to meet with the rest of their kind of scattered regiments wherever their business is for the day. Um, but with, within every small troop, there appears to be uh, a, a driving mind, if you will. Uh, and you can kind of suss out each one has a particular and 
particular person who's kind of keeping them on task. Okay, I'm just going to walk over to that table and just get on my haunches. <laughs> <laughs> you see a, uh, a handsome, uh, older half orc whose like dark hair is like combed over to one side. It kind of swoops over, uh, almost like blocking one eye. He has like a, a, a nice, well kept goatee that kind of comes into a tuft at the bottom. Um, has a, a little bit of scruff on the sides, but you know, a, a nice thing, gentlemen. Like these gentle tusks, kind of poke underneath, and you can see one of them has like a little uh, gem kind of embedded in it. Uh, it kind of looks down over to you. Oh, aren't you adorable? <laughs> uh, well, it, it, this is new for gracing my mornings. Thank you. You're adorable. Do you want to put a breakfast? Do you want bacon? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Very good, very good. Take, takes a half-eaten piece of bacon <clears throat> off the plate and kind of throws it in the air towards you. Um. Oh, hit you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to sit at their table and try to just listen in and be just real cute. Alrighty. As you're kind of playing with one, someone talking like, man, what are we even supposed to do here? Um, somebody nearby goes, we're just supposed to be running a perimeter down towards apparently what what the the grounding site is. Uh, we'll find out more orders when we get there. They're keeping us in the dark for s some reason, and that makes me both nervous and excited. <laughs> and the uh, the orc that you speak sp spoke to originally, uh, as you approach, kind of leans in and goes like, "Shh. We do not know the specifics, but few here do. That tells me this is serious." And it means that we are trusted. So, you watch each other's backs, you do as we are ordered, you follow instructions, and we'll know more when we arrive. Keep your shit together. I know it's a bit strange. And they all kind of like have this awkward pause as they all kind of look off in the direction of the window, look back to each other. Drink as much as you need to wake up, no more. We have a lot of marching to do in two hours. They both kind of begin to finish the snacks at their table, and you kind of sense that there's just an, an air of, of, of anxiety that is combating the sense of duty. All right. I'll hop down and go back to my group. Okay. Uh, could I have rented a room I just want to like, <clears throat> like doesn't need to be. The, I want a room for three days under the name Bell's Hells with a note inside it that says like, if you're here, the rest of the group is safe. Stay and we'll be back. Nice. You got That's it. Smart. Very That's real smart. smart. You got it. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> saddle up at the wrong side, uh, <laughs> Miss Timalt here, mm -hmm. uh, and and this will all happen in our minds here. But I'll just, I don't really drink this. If you want mine. Oh, you know what? I don't usually drink either. Hmm. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm always afraid that uh, I'll hear too much if I do, but I got this circlet now, so might as well just get toasty, right? I guess so. How are you feeling, Miss Timbold? <laughs> Better, knowing that our friends are alive, anxious, waiting for them to come. I Which? sense that. Also warm because I got this leather jacket on and I take it off so everyone can see my beautiful dress underneath it. <laughs> nice purse. <laughs> you know, it's got sheer sleeves. Have you noticed? I think it's <laughs> you well, the hand goes She's to the head. <laughs> I think, uh, I think, Miss Tumult, I've been wanting to say to you for a while that a home can be many things, right? But home can be a person too. When I think of faithful caregiver, I feel like I'm home. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think you're going to be home soon too. Thank you. We made it this far. I'll give you a hug. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Are you feeling a little? Oh, I feel fine. Okay. I feel fine. I'm just glaring. I at put it. I put the blindfold back over MCG. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You're like a bird. I just constantly cover you with a blanket. Oh, I just, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, she goes, yeah. Go to sleep. MCG, stop it. Stop it. In your head, you hear stop it. Stop it. In your it's head, you hear. It's not becoming on you. You know what's not becoming? Acting like a hussy in front of everyone. <laughs> I know I couldn't hear that, but I felt the word hussy. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> in, the, in this tense visual exchange in the minds of these two, as the rest of you feed uh, on your, your breakfast and the general air of mixed emotions that seems to permeate the room, the city abound, the soldiers gathering their materials and leaving the other uh, general go-tos of the interior of this tavern, getting to their morning drink. Uh, somewhere elsewhere in the city, a tree in a garden glows, <gasps> and a door within opens. <gasps> and that's where we're going to go to break. And what? 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 what do you mean? We're going to come back here with some different people at the table <gasps> when we come back at the break. So we'll see you here in a few minutes. Okay. I thought we were by ourselves. What? Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. Style should never be a dumpster, darling. Oh, goodness, it's overpowering. It's the little things in life. It's so cute, I can't handle it. Darling, I recommend buying two. One for you and Another for you, let's be honest. Could anything be more perfect? Ooh, look at this, look at the details, ooh. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. lies ahead for those whose minds have been cracked asunder. Echoes of past deeds swirl and bubble to the surface, seeking to fracture the grail of our existence. A wary investigator must stay headstrong and resolved, for this treacherous path may falter judgment, if not careful. A voracious hunger stalks the shadow-filled streets, feeding on the impulses of both ne'er-do-wells and those of the strongest moral fiber. Candela and their circles often serve as the last line of defense putting themselves in harm's way to contain, comprehend, and contend with the horrors that lie in wait. The Circle of the Vassal and the Veil. Assignment number 442. Ravage of Red Lamp. We're the narrators. 
makers of Midst. What's Midst? It's very simple. It's a weird, surrealist, fourth wall breaking, reality bending, science fantasy space western about a small doomed planet floating in a cosmic ocean of spooky darkness. Upon whose alien landscape, an ensemble cast of characters, including a crotchety outlaw, a freakishly virtuous cultist, and a weird, diabolical bastard, make awful decisions and fight like hell to survive when the moon falls out of the sky and a large number of terrible things happen in rapid succession. It's exciting, it's funny, it's scary. It's got neat sound, weird music, amazing visuals, and every episode comes with bonus content you can read and examine. Midst is performed solely by yours truly as the three of us narrate all the action, play all of the characters, and bend a lot of the rules about how telling stories is normally supposed to work. Midst is pretty fun, very strange, and it feels like VR for your brain. We believe you'll enjoy it, or maybe you won't, but there's really only one way to find out. You're going to have to listen to Midst. Now go live to a special address from the president. Hey dweebs, now as your president, I've been kind of killing it lately. I gave global warming an atomic wedgie, I balanced the budget by selling my pog collection, and I saved the Queen of England from that octopus. But my kickassery is far from done. According to this chart that I made, an estimated 35% of you are still a bunch of nasty goobers. But don't worry, I have a plan. Operation Gag Me with a Spoon. It's easy sleazy. According to this study that I wrote, if every citizen subscribed to Critical Role on Twitch, we could reduce maximum goobage by a metric buttload. Twitch is the only place well, you'll get a live and moderated chat. And if you subscribe to Critical Role, you instantly get access to all their shows as soon as the live broadcast ends. So while you're oogling these Critical Role dorks with their sick goof em ups and their nutty voices, think of me, Gail, the current president of whatever. Now I gotta go make a fresh batch of spitballs, but I guess I have some time for your boring questions. You. Gail, is it true that if you subscribe to Critical Role through Prime Gaming, you have to resubscribe every month? Uh, yeah. I do it right after my monthly prank call to pee on O'Brien. Next question. Does Critical Role have exclusive emotes for their subscribers? Uh, do we? Of course they do. I like the Hello Bees one, because bees are cool. I replace my whole security detail with a bunch of bees that think I'm their queen. Last question. Yeah, with all due respect, is Operation Gag Me with a Spoon a real policy, or are you mad goofing? <gasps> Am I mad goofing? What, do you see me scarfing milk duds while doodling ding-dongs on the Sky Mall catalog? Listen, I know I'm new to this, and I admit that when I made the wish to be the boss of everything, I did not know the witch that works at Woolworths was listening. But Faustian bargain or not, I am the president now, and I have an obligation to lead this country. So to answer your question, no, I am not mad goofing. Security, take him out. <laughs> Later, Chud Ruckers.
and welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> As Team Asilra, after traversing the challenges and dangers of the center of Asilra's continent, heading towards the Ascendant Mountain, Ascendant Bridge Mountain, uh, making some allies, destroying some temples, uh, <laughs> traversing the dangers of the natural world, learning of the Eidolon spirits. Killing some small, allies. Killing some allies. <laughs> no, uh, Border being, was not an one. ally. Just yeah. being betrayed. Um, but then, with some information gathered and uh, rest under your belt, you were granted passage through a nearby tree by Havestro to the city of Drusar after scrying on and discovering that the allies that you seek currently reside within the Spire by Fire Tavern. As the gateway is opened within the tree, uh, your new friend Prism enlarges <laughs> her raven ally and grasps it and glides outward, realizing... Goodbye, I'll never see you ever again! <laughs> <laughs> As you glide out of the tree, leaping, and going over uh, in a, a massive drop expanse below you, just over the lip of a garden. Prism, that... Prism, wait. Well, prism, going? No, 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 no. Really... I'm going we're to Marquette, you're going to Juusar. We're walking we're, the same direction. Let this direction. be Literally. the last moment you ever see me. We've been here this before, is... would you like a walk about? Wait. That's a cliff. What? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so, while the three of you step through the tree and you're at the edge of this garden, you kind of look up to the edge and you watch as the bird is gliding downward at a rapid state with the prism now dangling probably close to a half mile in the air. I don't think I have the dexterity to balance this vessel. Turn, turn, turn towards, back towards the, uh, turn, that, come on. All right, Orem jumps up and runs along the little stone wall that bridges the garden and swings seedling up and I don't know if she's close enough, but I will try to grab her by the tush with a vine to try to rein her in. Just turn her towards the garden. I'll say, I'll say as you've kind of circled around a bit to try and catch yourself, and you've just gone, you've now dipped below off the edges, you're kind of, you're descending off of the slip. So she's about to just continue to glide down into the expanse above the jungle. You leap over to the edge and try and lash it. I'll see if you can try and get there in time. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a dexterity check for me. Okay, I'm rolling Laura's dice. If, can he do it with advantage if I have like a nice touch? <laughs> just like just a nice target. <laughs> I'll allow it with your yeah. <laughs> your offering shirt. Okay, canonically, that cake. Yeah. It is a high DC, Way but. Way to sell it. <laughs> um, that is a, this is a, a dex save? A dex check, to dex just add your dexterity modifier. Oh, that's an 18. 18, okay. As you're like gliding down. Oh no. It catches you on on, on, on <laughs> the left side of your tush. Uh, my left cheek. <laughs> oh, the left pap. Oh. <laughs> Before you are pulled back up and over the edge, landing onto a soft beat of grass in the middle of the garden. He literally pulls. <laughs> I'm so confused. I thought we were going to two different places. I was I'm... trying to give you a nice sort of cinematic send off. Of yeah. me. So Drusar mm -hmm. is in Marquette. Right. Oh. There Your first is. time here. We're hundreds and hundreds of feet in the sky. Yeah. Let's just we'll walk you around and we'll show you the lay okay. of the land. It was incredibly <laughs> epic, though. I love the idea. I know. I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this, but it's going to be a really great last visual, uh, and then it, I'll crash, and they'll, they won't see that was, part. <laughs> they won't see that part. <sighs> um, yes, you've been mm. here before? So this is Drissar. This is Drissar. Welcome. Wow. What spire are we on right now? Uh, yes. Glancing around, you gather you're on the Lucent Spire. Wow. Uh, this is a very, very nice uh, kind of garden park area that sits on the outskirts of a nearby cluster of estates. Um, it is a very, very uh, upscale neighborhood. Uh, that sits high in a loft, separate from uh, the majority of the uh, the kind of lower sections of the spire, in which, well, from what you can see, a a very uh, vibrant cluster of buildings, abodes, structures, uh, a, a very uh, thriving city that exists built around the surrounding five massive rock spire-like uh, monoliths that 
push out of the jungle floor of the valley below you. It's, uh, it's five, right? Five spires here in the city? Mm-hmm. Yeah. These are the spires of the city, different neighborhoods. Um, usually take gondolas between them. Gondolas. Uh, Orm's looking around too, trying to assess if we're in a public park or in somebody's backyard. Uh, you are in a public park, okay. though it is gated. Public as public as anything would be in the Lucian Spire, okay. which is largely reserved for the people who live here. <clears throat> is anyone giving us any funny looks? Oddly, in this early kind of early to mid morning hour, there's nobody else in the park. Okay. Um, you do see some uh, warder guards kind of wandering the far streets. Uh, you do notice as you kind of arrive here, you can see the uh, the array of uh, kind of multicolored lay energies that are currently driving in a southward direction. And as you kind of assess over, you can see the glowing moon Ruidus affixed not far from where you are, just locked in the sky with that central tethered beam disappearing past the mountain range to the south, southwest. And does it feel like when we were in um, the the um, place with Abedina, mm-hmm. does it feel like that's like a powerful source of uh, arcane energy like that was? You do notice the lines are all kind of convening in that direction. So it's wherever this is happening, it looks like it's happening at another nexus point. I. I want to go there. Unless you guys are headed there. I mean, really, my talents are best spent in some sort of library or um, wizard study or. Well, we have that. I haven't really talked past today, really, but. Yeah, what is your plan? We're gonna find, look for, the people we got split up with. Might check in at home. You know. Regroup a bit. Yes, we should check in. There was this really fantastic, but well, there is the one here, the, um, help me out. The Twilight Room. Not on this. Not on this spire. Oh. No, not on. Not on this one. What do you? The Starlight. Starlight. Oh, Starpoint Star 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 Point. Conservatory. Starpoint Conservatory. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Which is, um, you know, quite quite a, a very, very nice top-notch, um, top-notch Actually, university. Since we're all here. Um, I'm planning on lying and saying I'm a high mage, high, a really high mage in the Cobalt Soul, and I was wondering if you would all conspire with me to support that lie. Sure. I, mean, I, I can help by saying the first trick is not telling people that you're lying. Yeah, I know. But I've been I, working I figured... on saying the lie without smiling. Oh, wait, try it. I'm a high mage oh. of the Cobalt Soul. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was like. Okay. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> that was a long smile. What accent was that? I know. We met this lady from the Cobalt Soul. She was way like flintier and way more like serious. Yeah, it's kind of grumpy. Yeah. Really kind of yeah. a bitch. It looked like a face that had never actually smiled. There was no line there. Mm-hmm. Hard ass. Really? Yeah. Um, would I know this person? Danios, do you remember this person? She has abs for days. Daniels, who had the most abs at the Cobalt Soul? <laughs> to be entirely honest, I've not looked nor cared, um, but I guess keep an eye out for the washboard abdominals of which you're speaking of, and maybe they'll uh, put a bit of uh, intensity in your look as well. Okay. Well, I've never cleaned her quill or chamber pot, but mm. she sounds fantastic. Do they put everyone at the Cobalt Soul through like? An intense boot camp, like a really a rigorous mm-hmm. workout routine. It's History just. Check. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Yes, uh, twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a lot. I've read a little bit, but yeah, I think that that many, if not all, well, not all, because I mean, how are your abs? I lift up and I have an eight pack. <laughs> <laughs> I have a minus two to strength because my arms are weak. It's all in my core. <laughs> this is where magic comes from. Are there just books wedged between <laughs> each? It looks like a fucking stack of books. 
<laughs> Welcome to the library, it's bitch. Book spines, all <laughs> tattooed, <laughs> it's tattooed book spines. She has the Dewey Decimal System on her abs. <laughs> all of the authors say Prism Grim Poppy, because I fucking made these. I wrote my own fucking story. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that in my very last episode I've established I have a nice tush and an eight pack. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minute intro, well done. Get it all out. You know, if you just keep going in the same direction as us for 30 episodes, we can't stop you. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, um, I think uh, I, I, I. I think that sounds like a great place for me, the conservatory. I could um, sort of sneak in and give him a stone face. I'm a high mage of the cobalt soul. That's pretty, that's, that's better. better. Care less. Mm. Care yes. less. I'm a high mage of the cobalt soul. <laughs> mm. That's you went too far. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, swung, no, swung no, hard. No difference. I know, I know. You have to believe the lie, right? Who the fuck are you? I'm a high mage of the cobalt soul. Oh yeah, I yeah, felt that's that. Great. Yeah. That was I felt slightly demeaned there. That's yeah. good. So we will back you up. Thank you. Long as you're our eyes on the inside, and if we need to find something out in a pinch, then we can get a hold of you. Yeah. Is that That's fair? Yeah, so as we were kind of coming through that tree, I, I might have learned a new spell that, that could help. Right and... in that moment? Yeah. Whoa. It was really cool. Things have gotten weird. Like a moment of inspiration? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you want to know more? Yeah. yeah. As I was clinging to the enlarged <laughs> feet of my <laughs> raven familiar, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I remembered a page I'd seen in one of the wizard scrolls, and it said teleportation circle. And in that moment, I copied it into my spell book with my wizard quill. As you were gliding. Yeah. Oh, you are yeah. so talented. Thank you, thank you. How did you write? My quill does it. Actually, I do have a magic wow. quill. Mm -hmm. So, so I think I have ways that I could maybe send you information. Do we have anyone left alive there at this point? Not to scare you. Thinking mm -hmm. that, because, okay, help me out, DM. Mm -hmm. Was the academy located at the Mirror Towers? Very. Uh, no, the uh, the academy is on the airy spire, near the, near, the um, near the skyship port. Right. <clears throat> I just remember the, all the different the four towers, but was that different? Was that like a governing branch? Or the teardrop towers, the ones that we that oh we no that that and... was that was on the core spire that was higher up in the core spire. Okay, that was the one that we <laughs> you exploded. brought down. Yes. Yeah. They are not there anymore, or at least. You do not recall no. them being rebuilt. Oh, wait, intro. here's. Okay, the Starlight. Well air conditioned. Okay, found a study on red dreams by. Oh, wait, no, no. Hang on. Do we know anyone here? There's that. God. There's that, uh. uh poor person at the front who hates us now. I know. I mean, I. I might like you, though. Oh, I I think that I have I think I have ways to sort of ingratiate myself. I do have a sigil of the Cobalt Soul, and I have the seal from Vasselheim. So I feel like I can work my way into a couple rooms that I wouldn't have had access to otherwise. Mm -hmm. But I do appreciate your help. I mean, where are you going? I could try and help you. Uh, well, we're hitting a, 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 a tavern, an inn, first to find friends and breakfast. And then we have to figure out, I don't know, even we haven't talked about this, but if I have any say in the matter, we're gonna head out soon. Out towards that. And I reference the moon. It seems destiny is pulling us that way. Whether we like it or not. Well, I tell you what, why don't you um, come with us, uh, we'll get some breakfast. Okay. We can work out your story if you need. Mm -hmm. Thanks, I'm sure I, you say the right things. Yeah, yeah, that would be that would be good. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll formally say goodbye. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> and go on our ways. <clears throat> you have my As we walk. gondola, right? Or... Yes, let's head towards the gondolas. And... I don't have any money, no. Wow. 
Well, I'm just giving it all away, I suppose. That was a bad call. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. As you step away from the uh, the side of the garden precipice, the heavy winds blowing through, uh, you step through the uh, the rest of the lucent spire, passing the exteriors of the kind of high walled, very beautiful uh, estates and manors that are built into the spire and the, the cusp of it above, the almost palace like, uh, rich homesteads, the various higher Mahan houses that. Uh, Run a lot of the city beneath the Chande Quorum. Eventually, you come to the familiar, uh, to three of you at least, uh, the gondola wire entrance to this part of the spire, which connects to the core spire. You can now see the massive central, kind of mountain like uh, tower that rises at the center part of the city itself, with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of structures and buildings that are built in this kind of rising road that kind of carves up higher to its peak where you can see the palace of the Chande Quorum itself glistens like an, like an ivory beacon at the top. Um, the gondola uh, is functioning. You can see a massive stone automaton with glyphs inscribed throughout it that is currently like moving this massive crank that its arms are fused to. And as it pulls the cable, you can see this kind of shifting box moving up to the top. As it does, this kind of hanging gondola chamber arrives and opens, and you see a small family of very well-dressed denizens kind of quickly step off. Uh, they have, they're well-dressed, but they have cloaks over a bit. Um, and as they see you, they kind of like nervously avert their eyes and quickly rush into the neighborhood, which is not what you would expect from the normally haughty denizens of this area of the city. Do you have a bad reputation here? Uh, we didn't get the sense that that was the reaction to us or just the vibe they were in. Make an inside check. Yeah. <coughs> bad reputation, does that count? That's good. Uh, that's a 20. 20. You didn't gather it was pointed yeah. at you directly, more just a, a discomfort mm. in, in general. Mm. We're nobody here. I don't people. know, people react to me like that all the time, wow. so it just seems, you know, it could be me. <laughs> I don't think it was. I hope not. I don't know. Are, is this your home as well? You said you're from here? This is your home? This is my home. These two are transplants from yes. Taldore. I spent a decent amount of time here. Met here mm -hmm. with a lot of us. Handful of months for me and Imogen, who maybe you'll meet. Oh, that'd be so weird because I've scried on her so much. Oh my goodness! To see her in person. <gasps> so weird, like a like a yeah. pair scry relationship. Yeah, I do yeah. have a pair scry relationship. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. I think yeah. it's fun. Yeah, one way look. Gnomish courier kind of pushes past. Oh, uh, excuse me, and then gets inside the gondola and kind of motions to the. Uh, Oh, wait, I hold, wait, hold the door. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, you step inside. This kind of younger gnome, you see him carrying like a uh, bound, uh, like a package of some kind that's wrapped. He kind of sits in the back. Well, then get on, get on quickly. Is this seat taken? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. There's plenty of room. All right. No, I sit right next to him. No. Probably uncomfortably close. <laughs> the door closes and then the time and time again. Moving and cranking, and immediately the gondola begins to shift down the cable, kind of swing gently with the wind as it blows. Are you a courier or a town crier? Uh, I, I am. I am. I am a co courier. Yes. Uh, what's what's been going on here lately? What's what's like the vibe? People seem a little on edge. Do you have the the news? The news points out the side window of the gondola in the direction of the massive red moon that right, is unmoving yes, no. in the sky. Uh, yes, there's quite a bit going on. There's a lot of uh, strange people coming in and out of the city. Uh, th things, aren't, things aren't normal. No, you could say that, yes. Why? What I... happened here during the Apogee Solstice? Hi, mm. high mage of the Cobalt Soul. Oh, whoa, here to I... inquire for the sake of the Cobalt Soul, very serious No, uh, uh, un understood. Uh, I mean, we, there was there was some celebrations, there were some uh, events, and the, 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 the numerous spires had their own uh, gatherings. It, it's, mm. a, it's an event. 
It was just a nice situation. No one got shunted anywhere. No, no one got sh shunted necessarily. Anyone gone missing? Anyone suddenly appear? I don't know. I don't know. I'm. Sh mm. Look, I'm just trying to do my business. I, I don't know what this interrogation's about. Yeah, no I, worries. We just got to town. We've been gone a week or two. A lot of keeps change. like looking back at Ashton. <laughs> And Ladna. I look like, down at the package he's yeah. holding. Can I see if there's a name? He hides it behind him. <laughs> Can he's, I, I'm, I'm aloof about looking at his package. Are we allowed to use a, a new spell that we got from leveling up? <laughs> I mean, that's part of the fun of leveling up. What are you okay. trying to do? Teleport <clears throat> him away. I took a really, <laughs> I took a dirty little spell that old prison would have never taken. Um, <laughs> Can I cast? Spell. Dirty spell. It's a dirty little spell. Um, can <laughs> I cast friends on him? It's just oh. a cantrip. Okay. Your yeah. Friends is a cantrip. Damn. Yeah, I have friends Damn. now, and so I'm gonna magify it. Sure, you have friends now. <laughs> All righty. Heard that before. <laughs> He's kind of just like awkwardly sitting. He has like his, you know. Simple, don't look at me garb. You know, just like running shoes on. This kind of like plume of hair that kind of comes up into two points in the sides. Kind of unkept, windswept. Uh, he's kind of like trying to make himself look even smaller as he's kind of hiding the package, and he feels like he's unfortunately been surrounded by a bunch of strangers that are asking too many questions. What's your name? I'm so sorry if we have disturbed you at first. Again, I am from the Cobalt Soul, and you said that, yes. Yeah, and the only thing that we want to do is. We just want some information, and I'm just, I want to help you do your business, because I'm also a businesswoman. All right, make a persuasion check. Can I help by subtly stepping in front of Laudna and blocking her visage? Um, <laughs> you and smiling? Just, yeah. You got I'll, it. I'll, lean, I'll lean back, I see what's going okay. on. Keeps okay. following the direction, just leans. I have my advantage <laughs> yeah. of friends. Go for it. We well, already have it, great. <laughs> I see one. I see one terrible roll. That's a three. Oh no. Followed by a two. Yeah. <laughs> no boy. For a total of? Oh, for a total of? I have a plus one of persuasion, so that's a total of four. Wow. He goes, well, um, then I, I think the Cobalt Soul might be very helpful in uh, letting you know some of the things you are asking about. I, I'm no one, I don't, I have no way of. Would you, would you be willing to take a survey is what she's asking. Yes. Uh, but, may, it's got a clipboard and everything. I don't, I really don't like surveys. On a scale of one to 10, how would you describe your experience of the Apogee Solstice? Hey, this, and it's kind of like curls in and just gets really quiet, like yeah. shuts down. He's disassociating, oh no. That down is like a two. Yeah. I think so. I have a, a really simple question. Uh, has there been any official statement or action taken by the city since everything happened? The, the quorum has notified uh, denizens of the city that uh, it has made some alliances due to the strange nature of the, the moon and the events and the Hellcatch, so to expect strangers passing through um, Increase security, anything like that? Yes, largely. Uh, as the gondola's getting closer to the core spire, he points up to the, the, the airy across the way, and you can see the cluster of sky ships that are all docked there. Like, it's not designed to, to hold this many sky ships, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of like just this cluster of docking. They're all tethered off to the side. Oh, um, it's very strange times. In, in very strange times indeed. Gondola. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is this is my stop as well. Goodbye. And he gets up quickly and tucks the thing under his arm, starts running out. Can I send Mother after him? <laughs> yes, you can. I want I want Mother to stick her little beak in his um in his package and cast identify. <laughs> I want to know what he's hiding. Mother act acts like a curious bird. Okay. <laughs> Mother is. <laughs> and flies out, and you hear him go, ah! No, 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 no! <laughs> charging away. Um, as Mother casts Identify, 
on a uh, a missive. It is just a it's missive. Just a missive. He's just a courier. He's just a courier. It's just <laughs> dehydrated potato flakes. Yeah. For some instant mashed potatoes. Yep. Okay. Well. Mother returns. Okay, so this is really different than it was last time you were here, right? Oh, I didn't have this nervous energy in the air. Um, the fact that people were celebrating, but I guess. Yeah, I said celebrating. Celebrating on the night. On the evening. Well, Correct. Yeah, and no word about a wow. bunch of missing people. Got to imagine. I'll go. Yeah. I'm tempted to stop by home before we hit the. Before we hit the end. I don't know. We we're so close. Close to both, technically. Yeah, they're, they're both adjacent. I'm fine either way. It's just a stop I'm going to have to take. Do you want to do that now or with the rest of the group? Maybe FCG would love to see Milo. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, it's not a bad idea at all. I'm Fair also point. a little anxious to make sure the others are all right. Okay, well, that's, that's fair. Let's get there. Okay. Right. I reckon cities of the world are all handling this a little bit the same and a little bit different. I'm just struck by how dodgy he was. Well, all carriers are dodgy. It's kind of their job. <laughs> okay. Postal workers. <laughs> what is this cross campaign beef you have with the post, post Marcia? Mail system. <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> that's been a long thread. Wow. <laughs> So did we go from the Lucent Spire to the Lantern, or are we crossing through core. the Core Spire? No, to the Core. Is that where Spire by Fire is? It yes. is, yes. Oh, it is, okay. Where everything, okay. everything fun is in the Core Spire. As we're like walking and talking, mm -hmm. I'm just kind of pointing out to, to Prism, like, okay. over there's Lantern Spire, it's kind of like the gateway to the city. What about, like, are there any, like, taverns here in which high mages might meet up to swap spells or arcane secrets. Do we go anywhere like that with you and Imogen? I mean, it would probably be either at the Airy Spire. Airy Spire. Or what? the Lucent Spire. Well, I, I can't think of any pubs at the Lucent Spire that I know of. We kind of yeah. spend a lot of time in dives. We do. So. And what about, like, what are the sort of, like, religious centers here? Because I, I feel very curious to see what mm. sort of esoteric Texts are being hoarded oh. by the religious sects. I mean, Ascension's Rise University, would that be a thing for, for Prism, or is that, am I overthinking that? Ascension's Rise University. Uh, it's in the Airy Spire. Um, I know, I'm killing you. It's the uh, Magnet School. Oh, yeah, Ascension's Rise University, yes. Um, that would be very specifically of interest. They've got to have like a <coughs> cafe of some kind, I'm sure. So, yeah. Student Union. Go, go where the college. Campus cafes are. Yeah, you've already got like the vibe going on. Mm -hmm. So yeah. as far as religious things go, mm -hmm. you do know the Prakash, Prakash Pyre, mm -hmm. which is the um, massive Dawn Father Temple and the Pyre Lighters that sits in the Lantern Spire. That's right. Catching up. Interesting. I wouldn't say it's necessarily like a heavily religious dominated city in mm -hmm. general, though. Yeah. Um, you can find it, of course. Yeah. I think I'm like looking for anyone who might have sort of pre-mythological information about the elemental Eidolon mm -hmm. kings or the, um, or the Pr Pradathos. Oh man, yeah, that's man. your focus. You might have stayed in Asura and gone north to Vasselheim. Oh. I don't know, Vasselheim is so. That's a big step, plus we just. So religiously we just, dominated. Uh, Raised hell. I was going to say, maybe the other option is to continue to head very south to Eos. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot here. Mm -hmm. I'm the person. Well, yeah, it's I a will good definitely starting start, here. start here. I think here. I'll get some really good leads here. Mm -hmm. One of the threads that started us on this whole thing was um, following a, a couple of students who went missing, who went to the Starlight Academy, um, the Loomis twins. Star point. Fuck! Never will get that right. <laughs> Fuck. It's okay. Damn it. Um, but they come from the Loomis Mahon house. 
We didn't really run with mages before meeting you. It's true. Really? Yeah. You're the first. Not really our vibe in the moment. I mean, we met one a few days before you, but that was we a couple of minutes. We had a really bad experience with him, right? Uh, uh not really there. Wasn't Fault. there to make much of an impression, really. Gotcha. I thought you were referring to Ludinus. Well. Wow. We didn't really run with him. Mm. More like a run over. Mm. Anyway, yeah. good starting point is star point. Yeah. Okay, I'm great. Pointing start. out the ascensions, uh, ascensions <coughs> rise also. Ascensions rise. Ascensions I mean, rise university. It's basically in the same. Okay. They're not quite next to each other, but pretty close. This honestly gives me like a year's worth of work. So this is amazing. I cannot wait to sneak into all of their restricted reading sections. Yes. Seems like you're good at that. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna get really good. Oh I'm my goodness, good. I can't wait to talk in like, like a couple months and be like, oh my god, Prism, what have you learned? Actually, Laudna, I was thinking about this because before we talked about the Shadow Realm, and I was like a little down on it, right? Because it's, it's like it is, it's a tough place. But if you ever are able to go, try to go for the Night of Ascension. Night of Ascension. It's the day, it's like this big holiday where everyone celebrates the matron of Raven's ascension and it <sighs> is the Shadow Realm at its finest. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. When does that happen? Like oh, that's a date that I absolutely know. Um, <laughs> and so instead of just saying it, why don't I just send you a Google invite? That sounds fantastic. Great. So now you know. <laughs> that's great, I'll put it in and my calendar. And we both know, yeah. I love it. Mm. You can reply to those messages. Yeah, I am waiting, I am waiting for a reply. <laughs> Are you attending? I really need a head count. Are you attending? <laughs> it's just like there are costumes and I need to know how many to make. Maybe plus two. This is totally a walk and talk through the streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. this is very much. Yeah. Do you want to come, Warren? To the Shadowfell? To the Shadow Realm. Shadow Realm, well. Night of Ascension. Sure, if we're still here in two weeks. Sure. Mm -hmm. That does sound kind of fun, actually. You should come. Mm -hmm. really you can out. travel more. <laughs> <laughs> Along this journey through the center of the core spire, the the town itself has come to life. Though the uh, usual cacophony of families and kind of jovial conversation and the the comfort uh, of life within the city that you are familiar with, those who have been here before. Uh, is heavily diminished. There is a sense of worry. There is a sense of expediency. You can see a large military presence, uh, armored warders and other armored figures all throughout the city. You can see other sky ships on the horizon that seem to be either traversing here or heading off from here in other directions, eastward, southeastward. Does this remind me of the religious presence in uh, the place that Abedino was from? Uh, I mean, in a way, uh, and like having m military figures in a space where it doesn't feel like the presence is normal. But they aren't religious military mm -hmm. figures like mm -hmm. they were. Some of them are. In fact, uh, some of them have similar v like vestments and armor as to, uh, though maybe the symbols are different, but there are definitely individuals who are armored, present, and carry a, a weight and station about them, but their, uh, their attire is heavily uh, very much carrying the iconography of the gods. Can I do a religion check on what kind of gods sure. are in this? <clears throat> That's another two. So, 11. 11. Uh, the first one you see walk by, you don't quite get a good glance. The second one that comes by, uh, some of these soldiers are leaving the Spire by Fire as you approach this like massive tavern carved into the side of the core itself. Uh, the second one that comes by, there is a, uh, a symbol emblazoned on the front of their chest. It looks like it's kind of burnished a bit or hasn't been you know, cleaned since a long journey, possibly. Um, mm -hmm. But it looks to be that of a, uh, a, a woman's hair that is, like, like a, the side of a woman's profile, the hair swooped and kind of gathered into the design of the armor itself. Um, Who is she? Do I recognize her? You recognize it because it's the same symbol that adorns the coin that FCG has been carrying as of late. Mm -hmm. So it is definitively the change bringer. Okay. 
any, what's the, any signs of like the Ivory Syndicate, Paragon's Call, any of, any of? No their... Paragon's Call, Ivory Syndicate doesn't have any, you know, strong iconography. I thought they had like, yeah, they have like a little. They have, they have some, some things about them, but no one catches your eye. If they do, they're, they're fairly subtle. Thing, yeah. Um, what I was thinking about when you asked me that question. Uh, is anyone in green cloak or hood on the street, in the crowd? Are there any green seekers about? Uh, you do not see any sign of green seekers in the the direct path you're making to the spire by fire, okay. um, but you do reach the exterior of the familiar tavern where much of your adventures first began here in Drusar, uh, just as soldiers are emerging, armored up and kind of scattering out into their day's commands or business. Um, you kind of step within the familiar darkened interior of the tavern. Uh, you see across the way uh, Ishir Ika, the uh, Qatari proprietor of the Spire by Fire. Um, they're currently in the process of conversing with another person who looks like they're arranging for a room of some kind. Uh, and not far off to the far corner, you see a table with a cluster of familiar faces. Uh, I would like uh, the rest of everyone hey. to somehow okay. come into this Let's figure area. this out. <laughs> Let's try oh, this. Figure this out. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to scooch. Oh, no room. Oh, our pooches. So oh my god. Oh, 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 oh my shit. Scooch me, scooch me, scooch me. Is this your conch? This is my conch. Oh, hello. Give me Holy my cow. <clears throat> Holy oh my god. god. This is fine. Holy cow. This is way of my fucking the frame. I love it. This is. What the heck is this table? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's salmon actually with big arms. When you tell the waiter that you have four friends who are joining, and they're gonna be here in ten minutes. Can we pull over? Can we pull over you more? Can we scoot these two tables together? <laughs> yes. yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. There's more of you? Oh. Uh, me? As you're conversing and, and finishing up your meal here, kind of uh, mid discussion, you glance past and see a, a cluster of shadowed silhouettes enter past the soldiers that are exiting. And you immediately recognize the silhouettes of Ladna, Orem, Ashton, and another. Imogen! Of Ladna! <laughs> You guys! I skid her over. <laughs> ah, hugs, 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 hugs. hugs. Oh, I've got a lot of phones in front of me. Hugs for phones. You're, you're alive, have you? are alive. <laughs> Where's Orm? Or There's a, a rapid uh, patter of feet along the wooden floor, and then Orm flies and through the air and latches around Fern's neck. Um, well, I'm it. still a raccoon dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I lift her up. I, I'm just so, so, so happy. Dog dog. Like, this is my friend. There's an animal sitting at the table with you guys. No, it's no. Table. I'm just gonna. <laughs> the, the, the soldiers you were spying on have gone up and left now, so oh, you probably okay, would have Great. So I'll just go under the table and <laughs> change. Okay. Clunk, 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 clunk. Oh my God! <laughs> Hi, which you're alive. reality is real? <laughs> oh, none of it. Wait, yeah. where's Chutney? Oh, he's he's over. He's next to Deanna. This is Deanna. What's up? Hi. Hi. I oh. saw you laying in a cave. Oh my God. Really? <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I've heard really nice things. Pleasure to meet you. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh, we made a friend as well. This is Prism. Everybody. Hi. Hi. I'm a high mage of the Cobalt Soul. Oh, that's oh, nice. Oh, that's right. What's yeah. that? That's just my reality. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I buy it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, we were making out in the corner. Oh, 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 what? oh what's going on over yeah. here? Actually. Oh. Hi. 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 Oh my gosh, it's you're the alive. first time I've ever heard that. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am very tall. We, we well, actually yes, um, <laughs> were able to peek in on, on you all as well. Oh, and, and yeah. just, what were we? Like, what were they? Oh, what did you see? Wind, wind, oh. wind is very important. Yeah, so wind, when? Why? So wind, wind, wait a second, I have an idea. If you want to speak, you hold the conch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh,
You, it's been places. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you were, you were just walking through a, a snowy tundra mountain. Oh, shit. Oh, great, just great. Just walking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just okay, all right, all right. that's all yeah. we were doing. We had a threesome. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, I... <laughs> we just... Wow. Not me. It wasn't I punched no. a man and killed him. Yes, we, we had well, betrayal. Was he a bad man? Help. Yes. He was really what? bad. He tried to assassinate me for something I didn't even do. And he spent an entire week endearing me to him right before that. How oh, dare. Oh, what no. a horrible man. Wow. Yeah. With one punch? Yeah. You might be the mo- one of the most powerful people I think I've ever met. Well, this is also not a lie. One punch Grim Poppy is what they call me. <gasps> wow. Grim Poppy? Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Go You're ahead and writing that my down. Last prison, prison, if you would like to make a deception check. I would like to make a deception <laughs> Practice for later. Yeah. It's gonna be so awesome if it's really good. What? Is my spiral down there? Come on. What? Is my spiral down there? Ooh! 17! 25. It's right there. It's real, for sure. Wow. For I, sure. I, I'm a professor. <laughs> professor Calloway, yes. Oh, I'm kind of like an eternal student. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I what do you teach? What do you teach? I teach. Sure. I just. A little of this, I little that. Yeah, little of this, little of that, little little magic. Ladna has been a student. Um, I just, I just, I teach life and things. You she know? was recently a guest, you know, a guest professor. And a life coach. Yeah. 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 Guest professor. Somewhere um, I can't I don't remember when. Um, where. It's it's a lot's happened. A lot's happened. Week. We have a room if we want to do this not on the street. Oh yeah, that's a good. Dude. Oh, she's a smart one. Oh, yes, oh my goodness. Oh, I like you so much. Wow. She is, except she does have a, a little bit of problem um, estimating how many bodies can fit in a certain space. So this this room, I don't <laughs> know if it can actually. You kill one goat, <laughs> and it's all they can talk about. Where have you guys been? Yes. Oh, boy. Where did you go when we got oh, split? Yeah. Should we go get snuggly? In the room? There yeah. are ten of us. It's probably more space out here. <laughs> Smaller Fair? than this table? Yes. <laughs> I should definitely do it. I mean, <laughs> also, you know, the, the moon's all red and shit, so I don't think anybody's going to care about what we're talking about. Fair. We ended up on Isilra. Oh! Where were you all? Wild now. Yeah, wild. up by Uthadurn. And, and I actually don't know that it is cool to talk. We ended up traveling to Isilra with. Somebody from the excavation. You did? Yeah. Oh, Wait, let's go why? Do oh, like on the, the on the on the bad side? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. What let's, excavation? Let's fit into. No, no, no. We'll go to the room. We go to the room. <laughs> Are you guys hungry? <laughs> I'm gonna get food. <laughs> <laughs> drink, drink. Got it. Drink. 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 You just mm. ate. Oh, well, I, I just for them because oh, they're, they're new. Are these? Oh, these are hungry. Are these your? Well, I have like. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I actually, oh. I just, I just, I just finished know. baking a, a bunt oh. cake. I can give, oh. I can give you guys a bunt cake. You've, you've been, you've been baking bunts now. Uh, oh here, no. Oh, I've got. I, oh shit! It fell. <laughs> <laughs> How many toys do you need? <laughs> Hey, here's the butt <gasps> cake. Emily, <laughs> have you seen this table? The answer's a lot. Did you bring a prize? Oh, no. No, it's the other side. It's the other side. Oh, my goodness. You're serving butt. Oh, it's got a hair on it. <laughs> oh, my oh, it's a real cake. Okay. Go ahead and eat it, yeah, Emily. Show, show it to the Don't. outside. Hey, Emily. Never. Emily, no. Ew, get it away from me. What? I regret everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's it didn't turn. There was a hair right no, on it. Live life dangerously. Oh, it's no, very no, moist. It you? It's very moist. Grab the inside where it didn't touch the ground. Mm. Okay. Serving bunt in a god fearing oh. way. Oh. Raise the table. Oh, bring her oh, oh, oh. Oh. Sam, Sam down, pick it up. Down. Yeah, oh, great. Oh my god. It's just cake chaos. on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> it bothers me so much. <laughs> I'll pick it up. Okay. Should we go to our room? Right. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah. migrated to the room okay. that Dana had I already set aside. Oh. I bring food for everyone. Oh my god. Just okay. full mom mode. Oh, oh, oh my god. Stand in the corner. <laughs> now you guys join us on this side of the table. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Um, it's bad here. That, that butt is busted. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's undercooked. <laughs> it's a little undercooked. It's moist because it's very undercooked. Did you bake it in an easy bake oven? <laughs> it's, I bake it inside my body. Oh. oh. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. It looks like a dinosaur shit on your really does. Do, 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 do. Or like a really like big mask. Horrific. Life finds a way. Oh my God. May we get Love a too. bunch of pillows? Upstairs. Uh, yep, yeah, with a couple of questions. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> easy enough. She was like, Yeah, of course. I'll get you some pillows. I'll send them up there. It's uh, extra uh, uh, silver uh, uh, charge gonna, for the additional pillows. But uh, I'm just going to drop down like 10 gold and be like, Is this going to cover the next like eight requests? Yeah. Cool, yeah, you. don't worry. We got you. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> All the pillows get just brought up to the yeah. chamber. You should remember these are these are my people. I brought them in for. Remember, these are the people I bring in for you. This I'm is gold. Here with this is gold. Ashford. That'll do for now. Mm -hmm. That'll do. Yeah, Ashford. It's been Ashford. a weird week. Let's go. All right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, Ashton. It's Ashton. okay. It's literally been what three minutes at this point. Yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry. It oh. won't happen again. It's gonna happen again. Yeah, it's of course, it's I'm gonna happen. forget I got you. again. I got you. Thank you. Wow, I missed you guys. I missed you a lot. Missed you a lot. So, 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 you all had a had a had a good time. You all had a good time. No. Oh yeah. I no. Was, no. There was some. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, high note on the end. Scary a lot through the middle. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't all great. No. There was a big slimy mound of flesh monster. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. right. Terrible. Oh, and a wolf that was five wolves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. it's kind of uh, oh. horrific, actually. What? I actually, I, I don't know where it came from, but I, I can now summon um, undead ghost, ghost wolves from oh. my, my orifices. Oh, oh what? Yeah. My, that ended on a different note. That was the first time I did that. It kind of just ripped of from my rib cage. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Multiple wolves? Yeah. Just one. Just well, I can, I can just do it now. I can just have a wolf. I kind appreciate of. the wolf motif. <gasps> I wasn't thinking about you when it happened, but I oh. but I okay. <laughs> Not everyone wants to fuck you, Chad. Sure, all the animals in the world, wolves. <laughs> Got it. Were you serving hunt? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah. See, we had a few um, high points in the middle, and then ours ended. Um, it was pretty bad. The whole it's, time. I mean, it started so on a low point. It, it kind of went up to two and then back down. You were traveling with a bad guy, and you knew this. We were oh. traveling with a shepherd, right? He said that he was an innocent shepherd, and then me and Ladna taught him magic. Oh. Or we thought we were teaching mm -hmm. him magic, and we thought it was this really cute bonding thing, but actually he knew magic all along, and then mm -hmm. he attacked us for something that I didn't even do, and um, and then I punched him to death. So oh. he was the one you punched to death? Yeah. He was... Are you that kind of a fighter, yeah. like a powerful? I wasn't until that day, but I think I am now. Wow. Yeah. So Prism's cool. pretty amazing so uh, was he... on the battlefield, have to say. Yeah? Thank you. That's Thank it, you. yeah. She pulled my ass out of the fire a couple times. Well, Orem saved me like more than once. It was pretty much constant, awful the whole time. Yeah. Well, we, we... Did you immediately bamf out when everything happened the same way we did? Or... Uh, we were, were there longer? thrown into the wilderness. We were there for just for a handful of days. We found a town. Absolutely alienated uh, the Church of the Dawn Father. Wait, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Back then, up. What? Oh yes, an, an angel came from <clears throat> the sky and yeah, we, we killed an angel. And we killed with an angel. Well, we didn't with a kill demon an angel. I summoned. The guy that what? we an killed angel of the Dawn Father? killed the angel. Maybe. Why would you do that? The, well, well, it was trying so to kill us in the moment. And the Dawn response. Father was. <laughs> Mm, that's the angel tried to kill you? I oh, think yes. that they were more conflicted than I was. I'm just going to go on the record and say that I think we did that town a favor. We because the Dawn Father presence there was military. And it was disgusting. And they were taking tithes from all the people. And they were I'm running out some more drinks. Number uh, business. Easy, easy. There's someone here wow. who's a worshiper of the Dawn Father. Is well, this why, is oh, this why do that, that right reaction now, is, is a lot? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think, well, uh, Deanna, before the Lord. Dawn. All right. She hmm. has a uh, complicated relationship. With the Dawn Father? Yeah. Yeah. Look, it was kind of just purely transactional. We we met the um, 
kind of leader of the town. They were like, hey, help us get rid of this militarized presence and yeah. we can help you all get out. We were so. looking for a way to get here. That's all and, we cared about. Uh, and it was not a, not a good scene. The, I don't the, regret a minute of it. I don't either. The church so was sent confused. down from Vasselheim and they were, had the place under their thumb in a way that I've never really s seen in my travels. Um, Why that city? Why would the Vasselheim or the Dawnfather care? Well, it wasn't a big place, but it, it felt like the response to everything that's pointing my finger toward a window happening was, in the sky. It was an arcane nexus. There was a meeting of ley lines, and I think that there might have been a bid for power there. I think with everything going on, you know, th their church, at least, was trying to lock shit down. I wouldn't be surprised if it was more than just the Don Father. Anyway, the guy we were traveling with was Ruby Vanguard. Oh, Did he know shit. who you were? Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, whoa. We got, we finished uh, the job and we were pretty close to coming home or coming here, coming to you. And uh, we were kind of saying our goodbyes and he attacked us. He was trying to get away and like with prison, sort of just snapped, sort of at the end of our rope. We've been through a lot. That sounds awesome, you smoked a bad guy. Yeah, bad I don't know why you have so much regret in your voice. Well, didn't feel good. He, it's just complicated. He, uh, he's angry at the gods. And he honestly had every reason to be. Was he sent intentionally to spy on you, or, or was it just a coincidence? I think a coincidence, I think. Shunted, uh, just like the rest of us, and just happened to end up yeah, in the same place. We didn't land with Prism, and we didn't land with him, or we oh. didn't land with a, a, this lady named Denise, a dwarf named Denise. Oh. I think we all just kind of got sprinkled across the landscape, and then just Did sort of stumbled into each other. Too? No, actually, we formed a really special bond and friendship. I really hope I see her again. What, what I have a piece of her cool. hair so I can scry on her at any time. Oh. oh, like friends do. Fern. <laughs> yeah. That lady, Denise, was uh, Dariax's ex. <gasps> that Denise? That Denise with a dollar oh sign. Oh my god. She was fantastic. No shit. Really cool. Yeah. She's angry at him. She is. But she's pretty cool. Oh, I, I bet she is. He's, she was uh, angry at him, but in a way that I was like, oh, I really no want you to like put him in his place. And I've then, seen that happen yeah, yeah, in real that. time. It, it's it's quite fun. Love yeah. that for her, yeah. Mm. yeah. You mean with, with... Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. We had That's some adventures Chet. too. Yeah, we saved Santa. We met the king Santa, and a queen. Santa, yeah. um, Santa's real. We... Can I do a history check? Is Santa real? <laughs> yes, you may. He's called something That's else. That's another and... two. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone complaining that I rolled too many nat twenties can eat my dice. <laughs> Deanna, Deanna killed a goat. Um, yeah, she exploded a goat. She exploded a goat. We had a lot of sexual ex escapades, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I met a god. What god? Your god? My god. She came to me and spoke to me, and I, I have a, a special place in, in her universe, I guess, and I have someone to, to fight for and believe in. Well, that's... I was gonna say amazing, but it's also really complicated right now, isn't it? Well, I mean, not for me. Seems like a lot of people are, are very mad that the gods get picky and choosy with who they favor and who they choose to, to ignore. Yeah, the way you put it, it almost sounds like the gods are planning escape pods. Well, I think, I, Maybe we just don't understand what the gods are like, but why do they have to be all things for all people? I mean, they have their own goals and their own hang-ups, and mm -hmm. I feel like gods are people too. And, so. you know, they're just trying to do their best, and right now they need us to help them. That's a fair perspective. Well, how, how, how does someone go from just being like a regular to being a god then. Can't we all just be like, I'm a god now? The matron like and a, a, a normie? 
You mean? Mm -hmm. Matron of Ravens did that? Yeah. yeah. The Matron of Ravens did that. See, we, we actually... Well, that's what Lutinus, I think, is trying to do, right? Yes, which I, we've talked... Something like we've that. talked a lot about, and one of the kind of druidic elders that we talked to talked a lot about um, these spirits called Eidolons that are basically branches of, of, of the Titans that really formed this world and, and were here far before the gods. Did we see anything about Eidolons in Ludinus's notes? Did we oh, see anything? Oh, oh. We have some of Ludinus's old shit. Yeah. Oh, what? We're in the room, right? We're, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're on the room. Yeah. We we found his old uh, tower in, in, God, names. Savalier the Savalier Wood. <laughs> and it had his notes from, from a long time ago. He's ancient. It just looks like Sam is playing with his own fecal it's matter. Super <laughs> disgusting. Me too, me too. That's, yeah. that's in incredible that you found. How did you happen upon that? Did we ever go through that stuff? We did, right? We did. We scribed mm -hmm. it. You scribed it. Hi, I am far ranging integrated oh, defense right. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so much to process. And I was I've been, going to ask. I'm on the verge of asking in the last three <laughs> minutes where did you, f where are you from? Where did you find Frida? So we can kind of go from from the beginning in an abbreviated way. We ended up next to kind of west of Uthodern in Wildmount, and we made our way towards the city because that's my old stomping grounds. And we came across Rita and Deanna, who you met. She's a cleric of the Dawnfather, oh. but I hadn't seen Deanna, who's an old fling. Oh shit, is that a whole story? And like two hundo. So it's been a minute. You don't have to jump to the end of the story. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> We went into Uthadurn, we ingratiated ourselves to the king and queen there because they were having some problems because magic's been all fucked up. They really helped us. I settled some beef with my old employer, Olkar, and then we made our way down into the Savalier Wood because we used some of the resources in Uthadurn to learn about Ludinus, who had been in the Savalier Wood prior to going to the Cerberus Assembly in Rexentrum. Will there be a question and answer? No. At the end? Okay. okay. But we do have stuff from Ludinus, so we think we might be able to scry on him and find out where he is. Oh. One uh, thing at a time. We tried to scry did, on him and we, we couldn't oh, get through. It part was like two, just lot. so people can have it, Ludinus was previously in the ruins of Malaysmere, which was a city that was destroyed before the Cerberus Assembly was founded. So we went there, seeing if we could find anything of him or of his old shit, and we kind of did. Yeah, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about 400 years yeah, old. I've visual, seen it's been about a week. I want to, <laughs> and I found visual. Visual. love. Yeah, I want to know everything about that, but that doesn't answer the first question, which is I've never met anyone like letters in my entire life, and now... There's two, two. letters. <laughs> oh, Frida yes. is the whole album exceptional. I had never Magical. met anyone like Faithful Caregiver before either. Where are you from? Well, I'm oh. learning that I... I'm at least as old as Deanna, and maybe not as old as... No, I'm older than Chet. You're, I think you're so. the OG, I'm bro. I'm older than Mr. Pockaby. You're like Pockaby. double the age of Chet. Mr. Pockaby. Yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> I was brought back the same way FCG was brought back, or similarly. Uh, and we learned a bit about my original function, which was, we think, to protect the original. Can I say Malleus Key out loud here? Yes. Malleus Key. Oh. That thing uh, that Ludinus crudely recreated. Where in the world was that? Uh, Asila. Uh, Isilcross. That's the f way north, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ruins of Eor. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry, uh, going back a little bit. Did you say faithful caregiver? Mm. Yes. Oh. Oh. That's what FCG means. Uh, yeah. Apparently, it was carved into the inside of my skull. Oh! Yeah, I just took the, took the head right off and then saw right in there. Yeah, it All looks right. like this. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, I don't feel bad for never thinking of that. Don't shame them. I'm bad. Just impressed. You know, your ear we falls off sometimes. Yeah, I'm <laughs> so you do the same thing. Aren't you allowed to express? I'm not there. <laughs> I, not I just got a little bit more inspiration for my next form of dread, is all I'm saying. You must be loud now. Mm -hmm. Loud. Loud. <laughs> Correct. Yes. I will play back so the voice sort of emanates. Uh, she's beautiful, but like spooky beautiful, and it's Imogen saying it. 
Yeah, that's me talking about you. You are spooky beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> one, one, one. Just, <laughs> you're spootyful. It's <laughs> <You're> spootyful. <laughs> Your friends missed you all very much. They missed you so much. They spoke of you all nonstop. Oh, sorry about that. Was it annoying? No, I found it quite charming. Yeah. That's nice. Oh my God, did you miss us? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I hope we didn't offend Deanna. Probably. I don't know if she's coming back. At this point, you've been off for a bit. You've mm -hmm. found a space and begun conducting a ritual. Mm -hmm. As you finish the completion of your kind of divine circle in this dark wooden corner of the tavern uh, upper area, which is completely empty at this time of day, uh, you finish your commune spell and you clutch your uh, holy symbol, and my phone goes holy off. Oh, 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 look at that timing. Oh, right. <laughs> He's arrived. Man, it accepted. Yay. <clears throat> As you feel the chimes of your worship cling past your ears, the light fills your mind, and the burning light of the star that encircles Exandria and brings life and heat and death and rebirth, uh, the Dawn Father's presence glides through and around your spirit, and you feel the burning stare of him turn towards you expectantly. I do my best to not look away and just match that burning gaze. A couple questions and then I'll let you go. One, is working with Bell's Hells actually going to help save all of you? They seem dangerous. There is no response which leads you to believe that the Dawn Father is uncertain. I'm getting so fucking little from you. Fine. <laughs> Are your disciples perpetrating harm in this world at your behest? My disciples, do what is necessary for the good of our people collectively and the future of Exandria. One more. Are you worth saving? You are thrust out of your communion. Oh! <laughs> With enough force that you like hit the back of the wood and your eyes burn like you had been staring into the sun itself. Uh, oh, that was cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. He didn't like that. Oh. Huh, weird. I go back upstairs and move on with my day. Okay. Wearing some sunglasses I've just invented right now. <laughs> <laughs> Those seem like very useful. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but they look cool. Uh, hi, 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 sorry. Hi, babe. Uh, Intr introductions are needed, yeah, yeah. Deanna. This is uh, uh, Aladna. Uh, and, uh, I'm Prism, I think I'm the one who offended you. No, I'm not offended. Sorry. I wouldn't have gotten around to it, it's okay. We didn't mean to. No, you're good. Lies. You're good. It's complicated. Hi. Okay. Uh, speed run. Were we all doing catch up speed runs? Yeah, we kind of did. Yeah, we, a little. Yeah. The okay. Top yeah. line. We're the same, supposed to be the same age. I died 200 years ago. Came back. Dawn Father thing. <laughs> We're not great. Frida's my best friend. Um, and we had a three way, but I think that's been covered. Who? Oh, yeah. I died 30 years ago. Oh! And then again, like three months ago. Ooh. And How are you doing? doing? I'm doing, you know, I'm. You good? Yeah, I'm yeah. good. I'm oh, that's good. nice. Yes, yes. It's fun to die a little bit yeah. and then come back. I'm letting that one pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let it do it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> when you said that magic was different, what, what did you mean? Well, in the city of Utha, during all, we've seen it here in Drusar too, the lights seem dimmer, like things that I think are natural processes mm. are kind of janked. Yeah, I I'm normally able to, to send messages across long distances and mm -hmm. nothing short of 
short distances is working. Yeah, I tried to reach out to Dorian and to that Ginger wizard from the excavation, but oh, it didn't right. work either. Time. I tried to contact y'all multiple times, but we had as well as you too. But there were there were things going on in the city that we were at that were, I mean, it felt it felt different. It felt illusion magic was powerful. Very as powerful. As we got closer to the wait, next it was more. Magic. It was more powerful. It was more powerful. Ooh. It was thrilling. You could mm -hmm. conjure a minor mm -hmm. illusion or press digitation. It was almost real. Wow. What? A theory is I mean, that's why the Dawn Father was trying to take the land. Yeah, specifically near this nexus in this mm. small wow. town. He was trying to take this land to make it secure? Probably. To I take mean, it. He's to, doing to do what, what he thinks he needs to be done in order to protect the gods. I wonder oh. if Pradathos is, is going to be able to use the ley lines to travel, mm. if that's where his source of power mm. will come from. I still don't know what. Pradathos is. Oh, really. you're, wait, you're part of the Cobalt Soul? Yes. Yeah, uh, high they range, know stuff. High ranking mage. Mm. They got books. So you know all about this? Yes. Oh, this is great. Are you going to explain the whole thing? High ranking mage? Because I've been calling it an Applebee Soul Yeah. <laughs> yeah, inside check. Do I have to do a deception again? Yes, you do. I check also. That's a lot. 12. Fuzzy <laughs> one. Yeah. Uh, I only got an 11. She okay. seems great to me. I rolled a 15 plus five, so. <laughs> Fine, yes, okay, I'm on the 10 year apprentice track and I'm not yet a mage and I'm currently defecting and I'm gonna become a book thief. Oh, oh okay. love it. Wow, that's wonderful. You're, you're, that's gonna, wonderful. you're, you're gonna become a book thief? On. Yeah. She kind of crumbled yeah. under. Yeah. We've been rehearsing yeah. a little, it's new. Folio, <laughs> filter. Well, maybe I don't mean, go for a high ranking. Parchment. Maybe. For <laughs> a, a literary larcenist? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. When I'm done reading them, I'm gonna set them on fire. I've been hanging around Ashton. That's no, a, that's an arsonist. arsonist. That's a li literary oh. arsonist. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need to read some more books. Who knows? I'm only finding myself. We gotta steal the source, baby Larceny. girl. It's gonna be great. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I, I think you know having a goal like that is really admirable. But you could become a book thief today. You could just go steal a book. Yes. Well, I have, I have, um, but I, I'm, I'm currently. I think that from everything that we learned, I'm starting to feel a bit suspicious about some of the stuff with the gods and like these elemental eidolons and also even wondering if the nature of Pradathos isn't fully being communicated and we're only hearing sort of a mythologized version from the gods' point of view. So oh, that's sure. sort of the stuff I'm, I'm interested in that's stealing. That's deep subtextual. Yeah. Mm. We were talking Conspiracy about this stuff. morning trying to get Prism in at Starpoint. Oh. And then... Maybe if we ever need any info, we could reach out, but we can't reach out. Yeah, I can only scry on you. It's kind of a one-way friendship. <laughs> Does the Cobalt Soul or the, um, the, you were part of the, Ash, um, the Ashari? Yeah. Ashari is Did, not the Cobalt Soul. No, no, but they're both like huge groups of people, right? With vast sums uh, of knowledge. Yeah, the Cobalt Soul, not an expert, but is sprinkled around the world. Yeah. Uh, Ashari is, my people are in one place. Oh, do, the does, air. Any, does anyone know? <laughs> does anyone know how many nexuses there might Nexus. be? Nexus. Nexus. <laughs> like if it's a power grab, do we know how many spaces are on the board? I get the feeling that there's several would scatters I, around. The would I have seen one. like a map? Would the Cobalt Soul have a map of? Presumed next yeah, or old or next or guy. old ley line connections. I mean, if they, they went, had a map of old ones, they, they would be working on a new one. The other night, they do I'm have uh, in in charted land. They have notes of the nexuses that exist between each apogee solstice that shifts them. Some stay the same. Some move. You know, they, everything doesn't get recategorized around. Um, but uh, I'd say in in your studies internally. Uh, you might have come across it. Go ahead and roll. There were supposed to be three in Marquette that we knew of. Roll a history check for me. And we're aware that the map got rewritten a little bit. Right? All right, I'll take that. Seventeen. Woo! Seventeen. Okay. Better, better. Um, before the solstice, uh, there was mapped in charted territory uh, because not everything is charted in Exandria uh, through shifts and such. Um, there were approximately twenty-three nexuses. Twenty-three. Like Michael Jordan's number. 
Who's wow. he? Is he a mage of the cobalt soul? Cobalt soul. Powerful. 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 One more powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a wizard. I was gonna say he might be a monk of the cult. Oh. <laughs> no, he's a wizard. Yeah, he was for a little bit. Sorry, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he wasn't gonna do it. That's true. Oh. Okay. So yeah, twenty-three. So that's probably a lot of power grabs going on around Alexandria. You know, it's interesting what you said about you think that we're not really hearing the truth because in, in Ludinus's notes, I just pull them out. Yes. <laughs> Um, wow. There's something to read. A lot of them, the, something Excuse said me. about like the great temples fear the moon and the gods push to ignore the moon. They push for people to not understand not it. To, yes. uh, not understand yeah. it. So you're Wait, right. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're you're uh, you're on you're onto something. I think mm -hmm. they wanted people to forget about this entity. Mm -hmm. Don't the gods get power the more that you worship them, right? Something like that. Yeah. But the more people understand the moon, I think the more ludinous is, is you get trying to exploit it. Yeah. See, the gods are trying to protect us by keeping us blind to this this power and, and so we, that people can't access it. We encountered a strange artifact in which we found sort of some sort of extraterrestrial impact of a um, a essentially a meteorite with a githzerai which in the middle of a field. In the middle of a field, it, it was a githzerai that was trapped inside of rock, which is sort of like a alien from the sky who have telepathic abilities, and they were sort of imprisoned in there. And Ashton, you're wearing the ring now. I am. Do you want to show this it off? person was alive? This creature that you found? No, it was the oh, remains. Dang. And so they were sort of this githzerai. What does the ring look like? It's a hematite. Yeah, it's very simple uh, hematite ring. Have you had so, it identified? Yeah. It's a round ring. <laughs> what God a unique. Damn it. Yeah. It's made out of meteorite? Most I feel like our adventure was very horny. Wow. <laughs> it sounds like it. Yeah. Ours was traumatizing. Mm. I'm going to try to take the ring off of Ash. <laughs> That's going to be real hard. <laughs> I want to provide the help action by the strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I oh got this God, ring. <laughs> Hotel room. <laughs> hey, I've seen some close up magic. Yeah. Uh, all right. The size so. of the <laughs> Hey, Ashton, look at me. Help Slide a hand you. check. Uh, uh, <laughs> 18. All right. Uh, roll a perception check. I'll give you advantage because it's on your finger. <laughs> and you're referring to it <laughs> in this <laughs> moment. <laughs> I, my perception sucks, so this will be Please fail. Uh, 15. So, oh so you go, That's you go so hard. hard. I only have a one. So here's the thing. You go to show them the ring, and it's not there. Uh, <laughs> what did you do with the ring? Is it that invisible? Was like Where did that? Where did that? It was literally from outer space. Oh, oh. I How miss did you, you too. Lose it? I miss you so much. There you go. <laughs> what is it, does it do anything? Apparently it makes it so that now I can owe her a beer. Other than that, I'm not entirely sure. I can identify That's what I mean. no, it. Have you identified it? Oh. Nothing? It does, it does things. It's fire-based. Oh. All right. Well, it's you should uh, obviously give it to me. Uh, well, yeah, she is a I'm fire. She's no, no, one. okay. Well, no, we, no, no. We, can have, we, have, we, have, we have plenty of treasures. Yeah, well, we got lots of treasures. When there's a little more liquor going around, we can have this Treasure. discussion because I am always open to a deal. A stick and okay. a strap Wait. on harness. We had a hell of a time getting. We had a different adventure than you. <laughs> We did. Did you get it? Okay, never We had a really hard time getting from Wildmount back to here. We only came across a staff that allowed us to use it, and even that went kind of tits up a couple, oh, well, a few times. I yeah. almost killed us all. Learning curve, you're doing great with this. It's powerful. It is powerful, quiet. Man. Like you swung it around and hit everybody, or what No, I tried to teleport us, and I almost just just, just tore us apart. Ripped us apart. Yeah, our, our shoulders had mouths. It was a whole thing. Ooh. And then we That's met a bunch nice. of birds. Yeah. Birds? Yeah. But if you were in a creatures. Sora, Oh, really? How did Dastard. you guys? Send mother to go see. What? What's mother? <laughs> ah, what is this? What's going on? <laughs> a little raven. No! Oh, ah, no. Get off of me! Ah, <laughs> get off of me! <laughs> it's like flapping at your. Well, it, it does not like you. What? I don't this like it. What is this thing? Room? That's Why is the there a bird thing? loose in the room? <laughs> when he gets nervous, everybody dies. So well, he's he's egging mother on, and now mother's upset. Okay. Look at you. I don't like it. Oh. shits on you. <laughs> oh, it's just like shithead. <laughs> oh, they're all 
So, all the same. so now that we've caught up, <laughs> what what is the plan here? How did you get back here, first of all? Oh, yeah. So, so part of the deal with the little pissant town that we were in to have them transport us was to help rid them of the Don Father's militarized presence. So we. They sent you. They sent us through a tree, not too oh. dissimilar to how Orumstrudes have done it in the past. Got it. Because we're far, we're far away from you know, the base of the moon, which I assume is what we're all thinking we need to get back to, right? Gotta go. Yeah. With a game plan, though, yeah. Didn't last time you got kind of shunted across the earth. And we had spent it. the whole time bitching about getting back to each other. We had a game plan. A bigger plan. We even threw an airship in that mix, and it was they're real, real strong. Yeah. Well, knowing that Ludinus's thing that he built to leash the moon is made of parts of other stuff. Maybe there can be some sort of research to other big technology things. Ooh. I'm about to say words that I barely understand. Well, to get part. the Laylas, or where they cross. Maybe that's technology next point. Things. Did you say the Laylas or yeah. Delilahs? I don't remember what they're called. It's okay. Let me rub, let me rub your shoulders. Thank you. <laughs> Ley lines, the ley lines. And maybe some of all the technology in the past that Ludinus has been looking up, and maybe you can figure out how to break it. Because it seems like you kind of just put it together, slap dash. I think mm. someone needs to go to ground zero. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. find whatever's floating around in here and make sure he doesn't get it first. I mean, yeah. We spent weeks <clears throat> circling around the Malleus Key and trying to figure out what the hell they were doing. We did not find out much. Well, what sort of information do you need? Because you can send me bug beef wherever you need information about, and, and I can find a way to get it back to you. That's do you have, point. you're a wizard, right? A powerful mage of the Cobalt Soul? Mm -hmm. Do you have the ability to like send messages over great distances? I can do that. If I know I don't know you very well. I'm so sorry. No, no, oh no. my god, just presuming. <laughs> No, I mean, please. I, I actually don't have a way, but if you do, yeah. and if we go somewhere, and then I can find the information, and uh, are you good at sneaking into the restricted section of libraries? If I take my armor off, yes. <laughs> did I just, did you just flirt? Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a aura. <laughs> okay, um, then yes, I think I could probably. You're in the middle of I this. I feel very Make a choice, middle. Lana. Make a choice. Lana <laughs> <laughs> just receives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you, yeah, if 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 we went somewhere and okay, I could get the information and then give it to you and and we'll send it to you. Yeah, if it works. What else uh, is there? Where would where 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 is this information that we need? It seems pretty needle in a haystack to me. We've been to Starpoint. The the knowledge of Pradathos came out of the deepest hole in Vasselheim. No one was supposed to know about that. Well, then, knowing how to deal with it? Maybe I don't they gotta go to Vasselheim then. Maybe I do have more. a seal of, from Vasselheim and I could get us pretty like a, easy passage. You know what? Like We're a seal or like of a seal. I, I think a lot think? of their <laughs> armies. <laughs> what do you think? I think the first one. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a bird. She probably has a seal as well. Andre! <laughs> 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 Familiar for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry, father. your bird is distracting me. It's me. <laughs> no, I cast banishment on him. No! Oh my god! She's gone, mother's gone. Mother's spell! Don't worry, just have her spell. Her spell! Oh, okay. We're doing a lot. Okay. We should maybe separate, actually. This is a small hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, I am a cleric of. Uh, of the Dawn Father. Of the Dawn Father. I know. So, going to Vasselheim. Oh. I think wherever you can't get in, I might be able to. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, we just came from there, but I learned teleportation circle, and I'm assuming that teleportation is working great right now. <laughs> it's a huh. well, we, we used people to use. No, we used transport. We use teleport. What is his tele teleport? We, but teleport. but we think that the yeah. circles don't work anymore, right? We don't know. Well, we could figure out how to re-enchant. In Uthadur, right? they said the circles were working, Lost. but teleportation spells were not. 
Like, is that true? Other way around. Other way. If I'll flip it. Yeah. Flip it circle. Circle. Tell, uh, some of the existing circles, like the, because it takes a, it's a grounded enchantment that acts as an anchor for teleportation circle spells, um, and they like anchor two of them or multiple ones together permanently. Uh, some of those have stopped functioning, one side or another or both. Uh, so it's not that that magic inherently doesn't work; it's that the permanent enchantments were unenchanted some of the when this thing broke. Like yeah. a freeway and an earthquake. Maybe it's different, as when where we were in Isilra, as Prism said, the magic was more concentrated. It was better. Maybe it's, it's similarly arcane. It seemed like it was arcane, mm-hmm. right, Daniels? Uh, at this point, you see this leather tome oh, okay. floats into the space. This like leather bound, this is massive fucking wild, book. And I was dead for two hundred years. As a face, <laughs> a face <laughs> pushes out of the leather and goes, oh. "That is quite right." It seems a mild thing. Oh God! Don't Yes, is my book. Not? My book contains the soul of a mage who was bound to it. Oh, um, and he's. You yes. poked my eye! I'm yes, so sorry, sweetie. Eye. Oh my god. <laughs> Denise, you. <gasps> yes. Whoa, oh, okay, it came back. Um, <laughs> you got the impression that it was arcane magic that was amplified, right? Specifically, not necessarily divine or any other things, or was it all magic? The best I could ascertain, it, most magic was entirely uh, amplified in the presence of these spaces. Well, um, magic. Uh, but I, I also am not. Um, um, uh, specific research of divine specifications, and I've only been your book for some time, so. <laughs> yes, okay. Was there a little heat in that tone? Can I inside check the book? We're working, oh. we're working, he's we're working he's very it. sassy. Yeah, he's he's, very sassy. This is what he does. Yeah. Can you read his mind? Can I can read his read mind? mind? It's basically um, I don't <laughs> think so, no. I'm gonna try to detect thoughts on, on your I'll book. I'll give you another ale. Try to detect yeah. thoughts in the book? <laughs> the surface <laughs> thoughts of the book go, why is she staring at me so intently? <laughs> I don't trust this troop, and I'm a bit curious as to why we've wandered into such mixed company. Are you a good book or a bad book? You speak into its mind? Yeah. The book goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good book with a bad attitude. Ooh. Oh, I wish I heard that. <laughs> wow, Fifty Shades of Fae. <laughs> And this prism that you're uh, working with, mm. is she a good guy or a bad guy? She is walking an uncertain path, and I'm interested to see which choice she takes. Uh, she's got potential, and she's shown a bit of a, a radical streak I wasn't expecting, so I'm eager to see. Mm. He seems like fun. Yeah, he's um, he's uh, can be really scathing in his remarks, but I think like any <laughs> father figure, it can Honestly. kind of rise you to your best self. Mm, yeah. What do you think of him? Do you like him? Well, he's a he's an object with sentience, so I kind of like. I mean, I, I, pr- I appreciate that. Um, uh-huh. I've just started to realize that that objects can be alive too, or, or things that were built. Um, they just need a little spark. Uh, you know, it's, I found that things need life to live. I've been waiting <sighs> to hear you say that. Oh I am feeling uncomfortable being perceived by so many. I'm going to diminish. <laughs> the face <laughs> retracts into the book Whoa, and just floats over can to you. As is your right, Daniels. I held him close to my chest. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan of the idea of going to get more uh, knowledge or maybe research, but we also noticed there's a collection of armored individuals and skyships and all sorts of things over the city now. Did any of you happen to talk to any of these uh, factions on your we way in? We saw skyships on the way in from a distance. No. We may have interrogated a courier, but nothing mm-hmm. of value. We it looks like they might be from Baselheim, right? Uh, yeah. We, yeah. I think we saw some from Tal- Taldore, and then um, we there saw was some, some from, from the Menorah too. Coast, yeah. We also saw some with religious faces, like of the Changebringer. Oh, wait, what? Some of the armored presence. Mm-hmm. Wait, and where? Here? Yeah. It's about town. Oh, I gotta go find them. It, mm, let's give it a second. But I was also thinking that, uh, well, we went to talk to one and they all said that they were kind of acting independently, but it seems like there's some sort of a coordination and all of these powerful forces coming together at once. 
And I know we still have Ajit Dial and the, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe we could see if they're like at least meeting up there and sharing, I don't know, intelligent people thoughts. Well, if the Changebringers guards are kind of filling this city, and we saw the same with the Dawnfathers forces. By the way, there was a Judicator there, oh. sidebar. Oh, we fought him. Yeah, we fought him. You yeah. what? Yeah. Did you win? What? Did you yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. Uh, a big death machine, kind of. Her shadow wolf react. and my devil sort of double team. You them. also it's have a devil? Wow. You have yeah. a raven, a book, and a devil? <laughs> the devil is conditional. It was the closest we got to a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> That would be that an fun. awesome threesome. Sienna's like, that's pretty good. That's a good lineup. There was an angel, a devil, a big rock guy. They were going at it. Their side summoned an, an earth, uh, the druids that we were helping, they summoned an earth elemental. Yeah, it got pretty wow. heavy. It was a lot, Frida's honestly. has got a, a gun for an arm. If anyone has interest... What's a gun? <laughs> oh, wait, I would know. Never mind. <laughs> if any of you have arcane interest, I, I copied down all the runes that were carved into the Judicator. It's, uh, it's draconic magic. It's really old oh. magic. Oh, Miss Timult, in your mind, you hear, there's something nefarious about that one. Oh, yeah, I've gathered okay. that. Mm. Also kind of interesting, though. Mm. Anybody read the old stuff? Draconic? draconic. Anybody? Well, wait, I, I have tongues. Mm. That's that's mm. talking, it's, it's isn't it? Draconic, it was draconic, draconic. divine, anti-magic, old magic. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's well, sorry, sorry, sorry. Draconic, divine, anti-magic, old magic. I have celestial. I can read and talk. So it's celestial. Why do I, why, 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 but I can make a copy of it. You can mm -hmm. carry it with you, and yeah. I don't know, maybe it, you might recognize okay. it somewhere. That's a very good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you really have a button? <laughs> In your arm? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 man. That's impressive. What kind of? What? Aging Whitestone. Blunderbuss. Whitestone? Uh, uh, place we visited. We actually. Zoom tight. <laughs> we did see the Taldori Council uh, symbol. I wonder if the Lord and Lady of Whitestone would be so in where? attendance. Here. Oh. Here? What? Multiple places have sent armies. I, I don't know if, if they're one of them. Where's your people? Well, that leads me to a question. Um, Deanna, ma'am. Oh, just Deanna's fine. Okay, Deanna. Uh, yeah. You said you looked in on L Laudna? Yeah. Do you think you could do that from someone from my home? Oh, yeah. Um, it would help if you had something important of theirs. And I'm gonna say something kind of gross, and I'm so sorry. Like, a bit of it is easier. But stuff is good. I, yes, I can, I'm sorry. I can help, yes. Um, yeah. I uh, pull out a little bit of the remnants of the seed. Okay. It's, it's, it's like, Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, that kind. But it's old and dry. The remnants. Sure. She gave me, it's kind of fading, but she gave me this. I, I won't hurt it. You can have it back in a second. Um, do you, can anyone give me a quick, like, we what she looks like? Full description. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I could, can we get a little diorama? My, my minor image. <laughs> Thank you. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Watch, I'll spin it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not the sideshow. <laughs> <laughs> She's way, way taller, though. Way okay. taller. <laughs> oh, got it. I need, like, a scale. Thank you. Uh, sure, I will spend my other uh, fifth level spell to attempt to scry on Keela. Okay. Oh, God. Hi, sure Steve. Sure Abrea oh, remembers you. No, we don't really know yet. <laughs> we don't know right? what happened to her. As you hold the kind of oh boy. dried husk of this seed in your hands and draw out the runes scrolled on the floor here in this darkened chamber. Watch your feet, watch your feet, watch your feet. Stay on the bed, stay on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> It takes a moment to even push the spell through as you finish the incantation. Like, the magical power that you're granted is being held at bay before eventually given back with intent. Damn. Okay. Subtext. 
got a Petty B. Petty B. Moment. Hey, you God. walked into that community high. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, <laughs> okay. Dad wasn't happy with the attitude I you brought to the tape. I energy. What does that say about you? <laughs> <laughs> As if you're having problems, I could. I got it. I, I, could try. I could try. I think I just turned to you, and like her eyes and her mouth are just pouring like. Like noonday sunlight. Oh my energy. god! I'm fine. Okay, no. I'll just come back later. <laughs> wow. And with that, you close your eyes and mouth. The light yeah. subsides, and you are pulled out of yourself once more. As opposed to being pulled through clouds this time, you're pulled through the warmth of midday, bright, vibrant sunlight. The warmth envelops you, and you feel yourself being pulled through these shafts of light until the the momentum shifts and your stomach kind of turns slightly like you're dropping uh, that kind of like that sense of of, of losing weight uh, of of kind of like the the, the very shift the shift of, of your of your gravity just loose you know, being loose beneath you the top of the roller coaster yes right? exactly that, oh, that sort of ride yeah. um, before you come to a scene uh, <clears throat> A shaded interior. There is light from a nearby window, though blurred beyond the horizon. Uh, you see a figure standing, looking through this window. Uh, turns around, carrying a staff. Uh, woman, red hair, horns, uh, leaning heavily on the staff. Somebody talks on the side, and she looks back and nods and kind of gives a physical motion before kind of almost falling onto the ground before the figures rushing and kind of catch her and lead her back to a bed. And you see she fights them to try and get back under her own strength before eventually laying there for a second and setting the staff to her side. Make a perception check. Come on. Uh, Come on. 24. Yes. 24. While the figures that are talking around her, you can hear like speech, uh, voices saying, you must rest, do not use your strength. Like, uh, voice of the Tempest, you, you, you must not overextend yourself. And she just kind of pushes it away, and you can see across her, there are these like dark red, wounds across her neck and arm and uh, the side of her face and torso um, that aren't bleeding, but they're not closing. Okay. <clears throat> and she kind of takes a minute and breathes heavy and goes, just give me a moment. I have to speak with the others. Too much is happening. It wasn't supposed to be like this. And she stands back up on her staff and reaches over to the side of the chamber where you see there's like a, uh, a woven thin tapestry that at the end of it there is tied a single long black feather, and she kind of like strokes it through her fingers a moment before she gets back up on her staff and begins to hobble her way out of the chamber, the two other figures grabbing her arms and kind of helping her as she steps out into the sunlight as the spell diminishes and you're pulled back into the interior of the room. Before she left, and I know it wouldn't probably work, but Deanna would try to just <clears throat> cast Guidance on her. I don't know if it will help or if it will do anything, but she just looks like she needs a little extra. <sighs> okay. Um, when I come back, can I cast Mending on the Seed Fragments? Not to re, just to make it one piece again for Orm. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll say the, the uh, it has gone from a living organic material to an object, and indeed, you can, you can 
reform the husk into the semblance of a seed, though it is still dried. Yeah. She's alive. Oh, okay. Um, and I explained everything. Okay. Her wounds, there weren't... If she was as badly injured as you say she was in the fight you had weeks ago, those wounds aren't healing. How long ago was it now? Was it weeks ago or was it like a week? Uh, it's it's been a little over a week. Okay. Well, what does that mean? Magic isn't working on her. I recall Orum, not to speak for you, but when they were attacked before, resurrection magic didn't work. Healing didn't work. Toxic. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah resurrection magic's kind of off the board in general, if you guys didn't know. Oh. So be careful. Oh. Ooh. Pardon me. Ludinus was successful then when he when he breached whatever he was doing. Well, with, I mean, the moon that? is tethered, right? <clears throat> I don't think he succeeded fully, but so he's going to try again. I think this is the try right now. I think it's not done, personally. So you all think that the resurrection magic being gone is related to the proximity and the tethering of the moon, and not the shifting of the ley lines? Correct. Interesting. Did, did you get a look at her surroundings? Oh, uh, diorama time. Yeah. And I just want to show you what I saw, the place I saw. I don't know where it is, but. You do recognize the chambers. These are her chambers in Zephyr. Oh, that's good. How did she get there? I don't know. Oh, I guess travel via. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, that means that somebody was able to get in and help her. Yeah. From what we saw and learned from these ancient druids when we were in Asilra, in addition to what Frida is talking about and maybe seeking more information about this ancient technology that you both seem to behold. I feel like the druids might be another key. So they, they just know of time and powers and magics far before the gods. Ludinus was interested in their magic and powers as well. They yeah. also have kind of their own radical factions too that we might have encountered. Mm -hmm. Did, was there anyone y'all didn't fight? Hmm? No. <laughs> was there anyone? It was a very busy few days. Yeah. Big week. Honestly, Big there was. Week. Wait, actually, no, I know something we didn't fight. There was this hill. <gasps> we didn't fight. We, fought, right. but we, we didn't almost fight. fought a hill? Yeah. Yes, yeah, like a, like yeah, a sentient hill. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Although thank you. We, we did fight some vines and some like mm. um, living bushes mm. when we yes. first and we had touched. A complicated relationship with a rock elemental, mm. if I recall. Yes. Okay. Yes. Huh. yes. Huh. So we fought a rock, not a hill, mm. did fight some bushes. Traveled with a cougar. Fought with a rock. Oh, oh that's, that's right, the cougar. How old was she? Mm. And so tall, <laughs> timeless. Mm. Yes, are we all. Good, good pick up there. Where would we find more of these um, ancient druids with old knowledge? Yeah. Do we think the council's in town? Is that a conversation that we're having? Is it the... That's what I'm wondering. All these people are coming into town. Are they coming to confer with each other? Or is this a power grab? Are these various people dispatching their militaries because they're all going after something? Or are they all meeting up to plan something? I was hoping it was the, the meetup, but it sounds like they're all just coming to bum rush the moon. Yeah. I, I Somebody believe, was saying yeah. they were marching in a couple hours, right. which would be right about now. Well, that seems stupid. No one here has obviously revisited the site of, of no. No, I did, um, I did dream. You um, did? Yeah, and uh, I saw it up close. There's people going between the two. Between? Here and the moon. The moon and, and here. There's a, a, a growing number of, of fuck me running. What the the people? Ray Lawrence. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what? Ray, Ray Lawrence. Lawrence. Ray Lawrence. 
Rides. Like rides. like the being that I, I can summon. Right. But that's different from the kind of, what was the, the beings that you saw? What are they called? I, okay. Eidolons? Eidolons? I, we, Eidolons. And we wouldn't, Eidolons. we wouldn't know so if they looked the same they anyway. Cause, well, actually we would, because we saw. You did see the red stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah any any physical them. similarity now that now that someone brings it up? Between uh, our alien in the crater and. Uh, Ancient no. Okay. Like, it's like echoes of the Titans. I oh. guess. Stone, air, water. Like if um, we if the gods have <laughs> their, you know, their angels or celestials, if the primordials had their oh, okay. offshoots, these are like. Oh, the but that's ones. and they're different from the red creatures from the moon. Yeah. They were like the, uh, the Gith yeah. being that you said you saw crash. Yeah, Gith's are I. A sort Gith of a psychic Sarai. people from the sky. Do you know what they looked like? It, I think, um... Eos! <laughs> <laughs> Dan Eos! That helps out. Long head. Yeah. yeah. Right. The, the Gith Sarai are, are in some ways similar to elves in their lithe bodies. Yeah. Um, uh, usually a yellowish, sometimes spotted skin, long pointed ears, um, a generally a relatively stubbed nose, um, uh, long pointed eyebrows, uh, darker hair, traversing the astral sea um, of, a, of a Gith Yankee, uh, which are related to the Gith Serai. The Gith Serai themselves are uh, uh, crafters and forgers of imagination within the astral sea through uh, uh, psychic capabilities and the power of manifestation given a uh, specific will. Yeah. You can just yeah, look up right. anything on, on him, and, and he'll just know it. Um. Uh. Yeah. Name four <laughs> kinds of trees. What do you need? No, I'm what just. Name four kinds of trees. Name four kinds of trees. Shit, I could do that. No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, uh, we encountered them. I just—he was jogging my memory of what they looked like. That's not at all similar to a Raloran. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound pretty similar. No. Okay. All right. Thank you, book. But it was imprisoned in the same way that Pradathos is imprisoned in this moon. Mm-hmm. Are we dancing around the fact that I feel like you guys have to go to the moon? <coughs> I think we do need to go back. We have to go back to where it happened. Yeah. And, Are you guys gonna march with them when they leave? That would be a way to get there without being detected. If we sort of put on soldier uniforms and marched with them. We can move so much quicker than the, an entire army, though. You can teleport. Um, actually, Imogen's very good at it now. I got better. Yeah, she can, she can do she's, it. She can do she's it. She's 50-50. Seven well, minutes she's, ago, you said you almost ripped everybody. Yeah, and then the three. next morning, I totally got us here just Fine. Deanna so. said something about mouths on shoulders. Like a really? little bit is a treat. Calm there was, down. There was a moment. You make a wolf all your chest. Yeah. Get off Imogen's dick. <laughs> Ooh, she's spicy. Ooh, she is. Yeah. I've, uh, oh goodness, I'm intimidated by your presence. <laughs> it's her vibe here. What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long few days. <laughs> Do we want to try and talk to Ajit Dial and see if like anyone's conferring with anyone in Drusar, if they're all just rolling out in an hour? I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to get a vibe check from the forces in, in, in the city mm. today. But we can't wait any longer than that, we gotta yeah. go. And maybe by the time we talk to him, if you guys are gonna go and collect research from the, the Cobalt Soul and steal books? Oh, the, the Starpoint Conservatory. Books I, I still have access to it. Do you have a library card? Lord Estros gave me pretty much open access. That so that would be huge. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I can I can walk you in. That would be great. Yeah. yeah. There's a store named after you. What? Prism Emporium. Oh. I never Holy knew. What? You. <laughs> I just put two and two together by looking at my map. I don't think that's true, but it, I'm gonna pretend <laughs> like it is. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I've got to stop by the Prism Emporium. <laughs> <laughs> is it possible that you derive yeah, your power from Pedathos? Uh, yes, quite. Okay. Actually, it's not that far away. Because this imprisoned being that you all found. Uh, if I was a god imprisoned somewhere far away with no one to talk to or spend time with, I would create my own children. That's that's sort of what gods do. And if if it is here, it means that he was in fact successful in some regard because that the plane keeping Pradathos out is starting to break a bit. Yeah, oh. I, I think Rudus born. 
I think, I don't know. I remember learning that, that we are connected. If, if we get rid of Pradathos, I don't know if I'll continue to have any abilities or I don't know what will happen to me. Are you a holy person, Frida? My faith is placed in the people I meet. But perhaps this Malleus key, maybe there's a way for us to reassemble it and take Pradathos' power away. Rather than unleashing him, maybe we just destroy Pradathos. Flip it and reverse it? Yes, <clears throat> and you get to keep your power and health and... Uh, Put your moon down. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about a two-pronged approach? Okay. How about Deanna, Prism, and Frida try to do a deep dive at the library? Try here. If that doesn't work, try Vasselheim. Yeah, I think okay. I can get us there. And the rest of us go get boots on the ground. <clears throat> Frida, are you good shouldn't, at... Shouldn't Frida oh. come with us? I mean... I wouldn't presume. Frida, you should stay. I think, okay. gonna, I think, I think, as I've said, this is our fight now too, and uh, I think we need as many friends helping as, as we can. I don't want to leave you. Right, then come. I don't know where I'm best served. You have all of these people here protecting you, and you protect them. I can't lose for I can't lose Deanna. Well, she's got one punch man over here to take care of her. One, one punch grandpappy. <laughs> I am kind of a one woman bodyguard. And in my your head, you hear that's probably why I should go. I don't trust her. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> My raven over my shoulder, my book over my head. I've been, I've been uh, in, in despair about this moment for, for a while. I'm not sure what to do, but uh, it, it feels like we need all hands on deck. Well, it's just temporary, right? Like you're gonna go get this information and then find us again and give it to us, or? Right? Yes. But I don't believe it. Deanna, you would know I don't yeah. believe it. Deanna pointedly is looking at the ground now. Yes, I'll, I will make my way back to you. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I, the alternative is I, I could stay and, you know, I, I, I've been to the, I've been there too and Who's gonna, who's gonna heal your group? Well, I guess I could flip a coin. <laughs> That's the change bringer. Uh. Sure. Letters. If we don't address this, fast and fully. No one's getting back to anybody. Yeah. Let FCG make his own choice, Orem. How will you know which one means what? FCG's not making a choice. I think I know what she would say. Um, what do you want, FCG? Well, it's tricky because I feel like there's this big lady in the sky who's helped me figure out who I am and what I'm meant to do. And then there's this automaton down here on Exandria with us who's helped me figure out why I want to do those things. 
and I want to serve them both. But Orem's right. If we don't save the gods, my whole existence is to is to help people and to make people feel better and to keep them safe. And a god can keep so many people safe, so many more than I'll ever get to. So if I'm really following my duty and my purpose, I've got to help her because she can help so many. So I don't need to flip. I'll go with y'all and I'll help. We've got to save her. FCG, I promise I'll bring you back safe to you. And you promise too, right? Yeah, of course. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> three Guidance. For three. three for three. Let's go. All right. So, um, what am I even rolling? So here's what we're doing. So, you, so you roll insight. You roll, you roll, and then either add your persuasion or your deception, depending on without, what you're doing. Depending on yeah. what you're doing, without saying which one you choose, and just give me a final number. Oh God! <laughs> I got a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be really honest. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking now. confused. <laughs> I want to be what you need me to be, but you're asking me questions with a heavy tone that I can't make sense of. <laughs> Do you want to just say what you really feel? Do you want to say what you really feel? Because I, the I last get, okay, time okay. someone didn't tell me what they felt. You punched, punched him to <laughs> death. <laughs> and come here. I don't want to do that to you. I don't want you to do that to me either. <laughs> She's making good points. I got to go with my friends mm -hmm. to go save the world. Uh -huh. But this one here, Frida, I know you just met, but they're like awesome. Mm -hmm. And they make me want to have a life and be happy for the rest of it. And if if they don't survive, then all of this is sort of for nothing. I just met you and I don't think many people here trust you, but for some really? weird reason. <laughs> Why? Because you're really shady and shifty. What? I think they, they, they don't trust you because you have a bird. It's just mm -hmm. a trust you. You've got bird trauma, just so you know. Since I don't think that we have time to build trust, okay. how about we make a deal? Okay. Okay. I promise to bring Frida. Frida back to you. <laughs> but I need you to promise to bring my new best friend, Orem, back to me alive. Your new best friend? Yeah. He's my first best friend. Ladna just kind of like puts herself you. in your I'm, I'm, I'm kind of leaning in too. I'm leaning in too. You guys really bonded? Yeah. There was this thing where these like little living spirits, like these little sort of local spirits were surrounding him and I like, we kind of had this moment and he saved me twice in battle and I might be confusing battle mechanics with friendship, but um, I'm pretty sure that we might not. That's how it works. Did you know I'm super likable? So how about that, right? A deal. All right. We both sort of. Killed Dordor, like kind of in tandem. And I thought that we were like a little bonded in our trauma. But, um, but, but yeah, it's just been really yeah, yeah. obvious in the group that me and Orem really hit it off. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. Consideration. Hi, Aunt Lois. You're not even I in the competition. Yeah, yeah, okay. Complete your registration. We're going to work on emotional intelligence while we're abroad. Oh, <laughs> um, bad. I think that's a deal worth making, and um... So would you trust me if we were doing a deal? I, I trust you. Okay. You save Frida, I'll save Orem. Okay, deal. Deal. Do you want some bunt cake? Mm -hmm. Again, no, but do you, <laughs> do you want a cigarette? Horrible. Oh, sure, I don't think I can, do you, sure. Okay. I've never had one before. Okay. I don't think it'll harm me. Do you smoke? Yes, I'm a student, of course. Oh. <laughs> I see something in Ashton reacting to FCG that reminds me of reacting to Frida. I'm like, 
Yeah. <laughs> are they close? We don't have time, but we're cigarettes. best friends. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> fiberglass. I get that. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. What do I, I do like with I it? Understand you a oh, better. Yes. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't. I have light, which I, actually I just makes <laughs> light. So I hold light, but it doesn't actually ignite. <laughs> I feel so. I feel so light. grown up. <laughs> Do you have <laughs> Do you have a like little no. internal fan to pull it in and blow it out? Nope. nope. Just minor illusion, a little smoke drifting <laughs> off of it. Wait, <laughs> doing it. Wow. Perfect. Thank you. So are we copacetic? We are. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Pocket. <laughs> yes, free to sir. You hear in your head. Uh, faithful caregiver and I have grown close, but, and I'll kneel down next to you. I look up to you. Thank you for showing me that it's important to stay hungry. And uh, if, you know, if I get a little furry, I'll find you. Yeah, yep, yeah. The hair starts to grow. Hair? Come find. I didn't think about that before I said it in my it's head. Okay. That's what I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it has been an honor and a privilege. I will be sure to take care of your letters. Why are you guys staring into each other's eyes? <laughs> can I'm you do the thing? Your you head, I'm just the everybody can talk in each other's heads now. What the Emotionally, fuck? Yes. I think when I teleported people, some of my powers got shifted over to Frida. Yes, it was quite a... I'm sorry, I haven't figured it out yet. I really oh, just, no, it's okay. <laughs> Baby, you're I'll yelling. Speak, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Why is everybody so quiet? <laughs> I was going to say it so long ago. Really? Thank you for like, calling it out. And I was like, what's happening? Everyone's making intense eye contact, yeah, and their, their, their lips are so moving a little bit. If the guy from the tavern stopped in, he would just see, like... <laughs> just tug on each other. Just like big emotion. Imogen got you a corset. Don't let her forget. Oh, oh. I, I got you a call. I was going to tell her. Well, it was going to be a thing. thing. Well, we're going to leave in a second. Yeah, we got you a corset. We got you a corset. We, 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 we got new clothes. We we we're matching. I was going to leave in the oh, no. outfit oh, before goodness. she's like this new outfit. It's just amazing. Are you no, you all look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. You know what? Wait, hold on, you know what? Um, just take the pack and you can have them whenever you oh, want. Thank you so much. I really don't want this <laughs> image don't to exist it. at all. I love it. That's, I love it. You get some meat tongue cancer from those. Just be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Deanna, will you help them um, tongue Yeah, got to. Oh, my God. Ooh, Ooh rip all, breaking. All 12 of them. <laughs> oh, it looks good. What, is it, what does it look like? What did you get? Uh-huh. However you want it. How do you want? We didn't want to design it without your influence. Oh, so. it's beautiful. I'll think of the design later. <laughs> <laughs> I feel just like the ladies of Whitestone. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was all. Who does the scrying in your group? Someone should have something of ours. Um, I do. I actually already collected bodily accoutrement from. <laughs> People, so I can scry on them. Mm-hmm. Well, sure. I have too. I have collected you, some. Do you scry? Bodily stuff. Oh. Burn. 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 I can. I can try it. <laughs> I can I'm sure I can do it. I can, I can definitely scry. Really well, whenever. <laughs> oh my god. I can definitely scry. It's got a little marsupial pouch. I just collected pouch. all, all those things just because. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about my marsupial pouch. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> This is like Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> she, realized, she opens up her pouch. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you just got fifth little spells, right? So you do have scrying as a possibility. Ooh. Ooh. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So wait. So wait. Did we get something of you of your group then? You have a clump of my hair and scalp. Yes, I mean, I, yeah. think lot, I think we're good. I think we're probably good. We <laughs> fucked. Yeah, so we're I good, think we're, we're good. good. We're good. Very familiar oh, okay. bodily fluids. Of... Didn't want to say it out loud. Yeah. We're good. Fantastic. I've got Thank all of the, all of it. All of it. <laughs> we have something for prison. Again, I'm so yeah. sorry for biting you, but it's No, really, it's totally fine. It's totally no, fine. what you have. Oh. So she has a clump. 
Let me Cl- see. She has a clump of my hair. I think also a cl- yeah. like air, uh, and... Hair, yeah. Reverse well, the two. I, can I, I have a I'm... clump of your hair just yeah. because? Ugh. I unhook the chin strap on my tri-corner hat, take <laughs> off my beret, and then rip oh, out a Double hat? <laughs> 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 I have my beret back on. I should have been making your hat the entire time. Okay, so me and little Lord Pomeroy are going to go find some fucking books. With a chin strap. (laughs) (laughs) It was an illusion hat over a hat. It's a hat of disguise. Amazing. (laughs) But it turned into that. Amazing. Okay, so. uh, I I should walk you over to Starpoint? Yeah, that that would be very helpful. Wait, what did Eshros give us that gets us in? It was a letter. Can't we just give her the letter? I think I have my name you on have an it. Hour until those soldiers well, leave. I have a hat of disguise. I could just disguise myself as you. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I yeah. As long as you're, you know, it would make sense that you would wear a tri corner hat with a chin Can strap. Can you change the hat? No. <laughs> <laughs> How's your uh, accent work? <laughs> um, wait, let me hear you talk again. I, I don't know what I would say. Just talk if I don't know. Hi, my name is uh, Imogen. Imogen. Hi, my name is Imogen, and I love my truck corner hat with a chin strap. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, yeah. She's known like to be me. walking around wearing it's really this good. thing. Yeah. Can I just have a peek see at your books? That's pretty <laughs> good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. If you can sprinkle in a reference to loving horses. Yeah. I've, oh, I've been there before. Yeah. It's not unusual oh, okay. that I would have gone back. Oh, OK, yeah. so I won't have to introduce myself. But you should do that. Yeah. Whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Just to everyone you meet. Yes. <laughs> we'll make okay. business cards. Okay. Yes. Then yeah, I think just a letter will be enough. Great. Uh, I'll hand over the the letter. Okay. Watch out! Don't burn it. <laughs> <laughs> it was never lit, right? No. no. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been holding a light cantrip so it looks like it's lit. And it's traveling with it. At the end of my <laughs> oh. You want to try it for real? Sure. <laughs> oh boy. The MCG gets high as fuck off a of close. I can't. I don't breathe. <laughs> it never goes down. Nope. No, it just lazily drips. Oh, I gotta, I gotta ash it off a little. Oh. Oh. God. This is this. You chose this. I, I know. <laughs> Something to look forward to. <laughs> okay, well, um. Free to honey. Come on. <laughs> Then should we head out and? Yeah. Okay. Say our goodbyes. Mm. Well, uh, that fast, huh? Well, they're, the soldiers are marching. You have oh, to go. God. All right. We we'll, we'll be back. Be. No, I hate this. It's just for a little while. All right. Thank you all for ingratiating yourselves to our That's cause. That's like a mean way to say it. <laughs> it's uh, well, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, alive, I've been alive a long time, and I have never met a group of people who care about another group of people as much as these folks care about you. Yeah. And I think that that might be more powerful than whatever Ludinus is planning. Let's hope it can save us. Thanks for taking care of them. It was my honor. Plus, we'll see you again. When you died, 200 years went by, we hooked up again. Again. We got That's this cool. in Spain. <laughs> Was it better the second time? Hell yeah. It was. He was a werewolf. (laughs) Oh, and it was weird. There's plenty of time. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Jenny. Yeah. Um, And I just want to give you a big hug. And I'm going to cast Death Ward on you. Don't die. I got this. Okay. I love you. There's a little kiss on the cheek. Okay, let's go. We did it. We did it. Ooh, no feelings. <sighs> Take care of your people. Have fun. Lie good. You taught me how to have fun. Have a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go keep get that shit away from you. <laughs> 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 I trust her implicitly. Love you. I <laughs> need you to put that in a garbage bag, tie it up, and throw it into hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're going. <laughs> Um, can I, uh, for like as a parting gift, summon a phantom steed for them, uh, oh. and make it just a really big bird? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm so proud. I'm starting to like you. <laughs> <laughs> like FCG should have a French accent now. <laughs> 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 um, and, uh, okay. I'm gonna walk right over to and give you a, a big kind of heavy hug, like like a little. Yeah. It's a me thing, and I'm very quietly gonna whisper in your ear. You pay attention to who you want to be, and walk off with a little slap on the shoulder. Oh. Wow. Yeah. We'll talk again soon. Mm. I hope so. Stay safe. In your you head. You too. You hear. You too. I know we've only known each other a short while, and you made quite a connection with FCG, but you're one of the best people I've ever known. I play you back your own laughter. Mm-hmm. In the storm, hold fast to this and to that. And I'll walk over to FCG and I'll get down to eye level and take the cigarette from you. <laughs> <laughs> and kiss you. I take the cigarette. <laughs> In hundreds of years, I've never had this opportunity. I love you, faithful caregiver. I'll see you soon. You will. That's a promise. I love you, Frida. Thank you for everything and for giving me yourself. Don't smoke, it's unattractive. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll, uh, so okay. it begins. Yeah. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you breathe? That looks good on you. Fine. I love you a whole bunch. I love you a whole bunch. You're a fantastic lay. Oh my God, I was gonna say the oh same Oh my God, thing. just like that was a blast. That was so good. But also you're wonderful. Yeah, like just you as a person are wonderful. Yes, I really appreciate you and I just, I think you're amazing. Just I think you're amazing. And I'm gonna cast Death Lord on you too. Oh. You can do it more than one. <laughs> stay alive. Just you stay alive, me. please. Okay. okay, we'll see each other again. Okay. Dana. Hi. <laughs> just immediately we think, <laughs> you're the best and I, you're the love, best. I love you and you're just so you. wonderful and it's gonna be so hard and scary but your friends are with you and we're with yes. you even if you can't tell and you're just so strong. I'm gonna try all the time to talk to you. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll keep you up to date. And just remember, Take if, care, you need, if you need anything, just use the conch. It's multi-purpose. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> just covered in his spittle. <laughs> just like in the Sabbath yeah. year. Just wood. like that. Perfect. <laughs> Mm. Wow. That was gonna be like a telephone. <laughs> I also thought that it went a different way. That's what I was waiting for that. Okay. You'll never ever never be let down. <laughs> Alright, Cobalt Soul. Alright. Good luck lurking in the library. Thank you. Thank you for um, getting me out of some bad situations. Oh man. And giving me a taste for battle. <laughs> oh boy. I think you've got a got a taste for it. Yeah. Um, and I'm really grateful for this very strong connection that we made as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, you guys you know, did beyond... murder a man together, it's true. We did, and I consider you a really great, freaking close friend now. Lana, Lana. Lana, I... That's my name. <laughs> Lana, I actually, I just want to say that um, uh, I feel like when everything was going down with Bordor, mm-hmm. um, and like sort of like the rage came over your face. It was this different side of you than I'd seen because you're so trusting. And in that moment, I feel like the thing I saw was that actually your greatest strength is overcoming all of the pain to just keep trusting. And so I think that's what I'm gonna take and learn from you with your permission or without your permission because I'm a rebel now. (laughs) You are. Go give him hell. I will. And I'll, maybe I'll see you in the Shadow Realm. Let's go to the Shadow Realm. Oh, I want this. to see this Ascension Festival. It's so fucking crazy. <laughs> Sounds amazing. We're all still here in a couple of weeks. 
Let's pick up where we left off. I would love that. All the normal lives, and he raises up a tiny little fist bump to prison. <laughs> I reach down to fist bump him, and then cast enlarge on you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I'm six, six. <laughs> Amazing. This is how I really oh see you, Oran. This is really weird. <laughs> my goodness. Wow. It happened. Okay. Chetney, yeah. look at the top of your sure. head. <laughs> it's pretty shiny. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> wow. You too, Just, letters. Wow. That's a cool trick. <clears throat> BFFs. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Okay. I think okay. it might be a one-way street for now. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> he grabs a rafter and just starts doing pull-ups. Oh. Wow! <laughs> Is it easier or harder though? Now that you're bigger. <laughs> it would have been a. It would have been a. Yeah. So in proportional. Feels so, yeah. about the same. <laughs> It's funny, when he's bigger, this feels douchey. This energy yeah. was cute when it was small. <laughs> <laughs> it got smug. It got smug. It was a pleasure meeting you, Deanna and Frida. Yes. Yeah. And a pleasure to meet you as well. Sorry for those of you who don't trust me. <laughs> but I think, I think I'm gonna win you over with my actions, if not my words. I certainly hope so. She also what? has great one-liners in battle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, really? Mm, really quirky, great. clever. It. It's really just the bird. It's the bird? Yeah. All right, I unsummon mother. Do you like Ooh. me now? <laughs> sure. Oh my gosh. Sure? Sure. I can hang my hat on shore. <laughs> okay. Your tricycle One from its trim strap. that hasn't quite left, left yet. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right, well, um, be safe in the front lines. Be okay. safe at the library. <laughs> Equally dangerous missions. <laughs> we'll be in contact. Somehow. Stay alive. As we walk out, um, I'm gonna pull out some of my yarn uh, and just start wrapping and covering every symbol of the Dawn Father on my clothing. Whoa. Okay, well, it's gonna be a rough travel day for me. <laughs> <laughs> I also might, I might pass off some, uh, a quill and some paper to Ashton mm -hmm. and just be like, it, I kind of overheard that you were having a hard time meditating and sometimes the way I clear my brain isn't meditating, it's writing. So, I mean, do whatever you want with this, but it, Thank you. it's yours just in case. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Thanks. And then I follow Deanna. Okay. As the newly splintered trio of unlikely allies sets off on their information gathering mission, there's a moment of quiet acknowledgement of the odd collisions of paths, but the genuine joy of reunion and the terrible immediate influence they've had on FCG. <laughs> <clears throat> but the knowledge that things are moving and moving quickly. And there is much growing mystery, danger, mounting influence and power somewhere around that terrible, glowing, ruddy moon. And we'll go ahead and call the episode there. We'll pick up. Next time, yes. from that moment. Uh, yes. Oh my God, Christian, Bria, Emily, thank you so much for joining us for this crazy leg of our journey. And Amy and her cars. And Amy and her cars, you aren't here. We love you so much. Denise and wherever dead Bordor is. Gonna try and kill me too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pull out the treat. Just a little, just a little. No. In order to join this guy gang, you have to die at least once. At least that is once. Valid. Oh, oh, I can't bring you back. <laughs> yeah. Wild party. Okay. Party. 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 Soft fish. You, you call yourselves you, uh... the Lorsonists. Oh. 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 That's one. a hard pitch. That's not a soft pitch. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm six six now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Amazing. What an absolute joy. Thank you so much for joining us. Christian. Thank you. Yay. 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 Yay.
Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Love you guys. I love you too, man. Emily, thank you so much for coming and joining us. Yeah. 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 So wonderful. Uh, so, so, so much fun. Sorry I gave him a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, Actually, it was I, happen. I did it so on purpose, we. to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your face, and I was like, he doesn't want this to happen. No, no. <laughs> no, I mean, of he, course. If he's going to have cigarettes, we'd rather he do it in the party. Look, <laughs> the, the, minute we, the minute we put you and Sam next to each other at the table, it was only going to lead to terrible <laughs> yeah. things. Yeah. So, uh, ha happy that it worked out that way. <laughs> Bria. You know, you're always such a wonderful Aww, joy at this table. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you for coming and joining us again. You're the best. And we'll pick up from there next week. Oh my God. Thank you all so much for joining us. We love you very much, and is it Thursday? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.